Amin. Anak, nasa niyo isang ballpen. Nalaglag yata doon. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, eh, may copy pa kayo ng ano dyan, yung sa diagnostic exam ninyo. Good afternoon. May copy pa kayo yung sa diagnostic exam. Ayun. Uh, pakilabas po yung, ano, yung MS1 sa kayong Uh, MS2. MS1 and MS2.
Okay, so na ano na po, na labas na. Nandiyan na po yung copy ninyo. Yung MS-12. Uh, Magsa-start muna tayo sa, ano, sa MS. Oh, yun naka-PDF. Yan, yan, yan. Sige, sige. So, mag-start muna tayo sa MS-1. Okay. So, pakikwa po yung, ano, yung MS-1. Yung ang situation is si, ang name po doon yung Luther. Yung, uh, construction worker. And doon po tayo mag-start. Okay na po? Ready na po? Ready na? <clears throat> o pwede kayong mag-ano ah, mag mag-turn on ng ano ah, ng mic ah, pag uh, may mga questions kayo. Ayun. Pwede kayong mag-turn on ng mic. Ah. Okay. Ready na po? Ready na? Ready na po kayo? Ready na? Okay, sige. <clears throat> okay, sige, let's start. Let's start our uh, rationalization. So, number one, uh, number 51 or number one. Okay, so MS1 po tayo, MS1. All right, situation. So, Luther, 50-year-old, construction worker, sustained multiple injuries due to a motorcycle accident. Okay. So number 51, so in the emergency department, the physician orders diagnostic test, one of which is blood alcohol level. So which of the following is the purpose of this test? So the purpose no blood alcohol level na test. Yan, ano daw purpose? Purpose of this test. So bakit uh, nagpakuha ng blood alcohol level? doon sa na accident nagkaroon ng motor accident na motorcycle accident na 50 year old construction worker so what is your answer here determine level of alcohol dependence discover uh, injuries in the brain rule out alcoholism or assess of client's level of consciousness okay So, kung iisa-isain po natin, so discover injuries in the brain, so hindi po to So, ano kaya ang test ang mga kapag uh, discover na injuries sa brain? So, it's either pag mga gantong situation, uh, accidents, so pinakaano dyan is ano, it's either, uh, CT scan, yan ang pinakaano dyan eh. And either CT scan or kung gusto mo malaman kung may Uh, skull fractures or cranial fractures so x-ray naman diba? cranial x-ray yan uh, assessment of LO, uh, assessment of client's LOC so anong ginagamit natin dito so kapag uh, mga emergencies po okay, uh, pag mga emergencies po so ang ginagamit mo na is yung kitawagin natin na AVPU yung tinatawag natin na alert, verbal pain and unres- uh, unconsciousness or unresponsiveness. Or, after mo gawin yan, pupunta ka sa GCS. Ayan, Glasgow Coma Scale. So, dalawa na lang natitira. So, determine alcohol, le- alcohol level, uh, uh, determine level of alcohol dependence or rule out of alcoholism. So, what is your answer here? So, the correct answer here is letter C. Okay. So, letter C po ang tamang sagot. Rule out of alcoholism. So, malam, para malaman natin kung nakainom ba ito. Okay. Kasi malalaman nyo sa uh, blood alcohol level. Di ba naman, uh, pag alimbawa, conscious naman yung patient, okay, na accident, eh, conscious yung patient, di ba, pag meron silang alcohol breathalyzer, breathalyzer yun yung ginagamit. Pero, pag sa hospital po napunta, blood alcohol level pinch may check. Yung determine of ano kasi, level of alcohol dependence, uh, may marami pang history taking na gagawin dyan. So, hindi malalaman yan so by means of uh, getting the blood alcohol level. So, therefore, our answer is letter C. Yeah. Rule out alcoholism. Alright? Number 50, or oh, number 2. So, blood transfusion must be administered immediately because of uh, 
loss of blood volume due to trauma. Okay, so Luther blood type is O. So yung blood type daw ni Luther is O. As Luther's nurse, you recognize that you recognize which of the following statement is true. Okay, so which of the following statements to be true? Okay. Yeah, so kapag mag-answer kayo ng question, so support exam naman, so pwede kayong yung questionnaire, pwede nyo uh, lagyan ng mark or pwede nyo lagyan ng, pwede nyo bilugan yung mga keywords, lagyan nyo underline yung keywords, uh, there's no problem with that. Okay? So here, so ano doon yung statement, which of the following statements to be true? Okay? So type O blood has both uh, types of antibodies yung letter B ba, persons with blood with type O. Type O blood can also receive type A blood. Or letter C, type O blood has no antibodies. Yung wala siyang letter D, no? Wala siyang letter D. So, what is your answer here? Ano sagot po natin? Okay, so uh, Luther's blood type is O. So as Luther's nurse, you recognize which of the following statements to be true. Okay, uh, type O blood has both types of antibodies. So ang sabi po sa book, ang, uh, ang uh, type O blood is what? Has what? Um, type O blood daw has what? So ano tamang sagot natin dito? So letter A. Okay, very good. So bakit kaya letter A? So type O blood has both uh, an, uh, types of antibodies. So, yung ano kasi, yung AB, eh, yung AB kasi, sabi, uh, meron siyang both, yung A and B niya, yung di ba A and B, has both A and B antigen. Yan. Tapos pagdating naman sa antibodies, pagdating kay AB, yan, wala naman siyang ano, uh, has neither A or B antibodies in the plasma. Yan. Si type O naman, wala siyang, okay, has neither A nor B antibody naman. Tapos, uh, meron siyang both types of antibodies. Kaya sagot natin is letter A. Yan. Number 53, when assessing Luther for hypovolemic shock, which of the following Data indicates that he is in irreversible shock. Okay. Which of the following data indicates okay, kung nasa irreversible shock ang patient? Okay, so remember, tatandaan niyo lang po, kapag nasa irreversible shock na po ang patient, isa, isa sa mga tatandaan po natin, okay, is what? Ang patient is what? Meron ng ano yan, um, kung tawagin natin, multi, uh, tawagin natin, meron na siyang multi-organ. Yan, multi-organ system failure. Okay? So, kad kadalasan unang tinatamaan dyan is yung kidney. Yung kidneys natin, yan ang unang tinatamaan yan. Okay? Remember, di ba? Mahapon na-discuss natin. Pagkula ng cardiac output, affected agad ang kidney. So, ano nangyayari? Nag-decrease ang urine output. Ngayon, kapag sirang-sira na yung kidney because uh, kulang na talaga, kulang na kulang na talaga yung cardiac output because of the shock. Okay? So, ano mangyayari ngayon? So, lalong mababawasan na mababawasan ang urine output. So, pag nag-failure na, nag-fail na yung kidney to function because of uh, decreased cardiac output because of shock. So, ang patient is magkakaroon na ng anorea. So, magkakaroon na siya ng anorea. Kasi yung letter A, 
So rest test, ansyo. So ano to? Uh, mga early stage ng shock to eh. Yan. Ito, yung uh, skin full pale moist. Yan, ganun din yan. Okay? So usually, nasa compensatory stage yan. Okay? Rapid pulse, rapid respiration. So usually, sa progressive stage ng shock. Okay? So si Reses, anxious and confused. So sana, di ba sabi natin, earliest manifestation shock. Resesness, decreasing LOC. So na ito, nasa early stage siya. Compensatory stage to. Okay? So ganun din si, uh, yung letter C, compensatory stage din yan. Itong letter D mo, may, meron din sa progressive yan. Progressive stage. Pero kapag nag-aanur yan na yung patient, yan, nag-aacidosis na yung pasyente, okay? Nag-metabolic acidosis na yung pasyente, uh, nag-aanur yan na yung pasyente, yan. Talagang mababang mababa na ang LOC ng patient, unconscious na yung patient. So usually, ano na yan? Papunta na sa, ano na yun? Kumbaga, nasa irreversible stage ng shock na yun. Okay? Next, number 54. So the physician ordered folate solution such as Dextran 40. And during the infusion, Luther complained this of dyspnea. And the complaint of dyspnea. So upon auscultation daw, you noted we this. Which of the following will you do first? And which of the following will you do first? And dalo tong word na first. So, ano gagawin natin? Ano daw yung unang-una mong gagawin? Kasi ano eh, di ba? Uh, ongoing yung infusion. Yan. Tapos nag-complain siya ng this niya. So, ano unang gagawin mo? Yan. Kasi mer meron pa dapat dyan unahin bago mo gawin yung susunod. Kasi iba dito, pag ginawa mo, tuloy pa rin yung tuloy pa rin yung, in yung infusion. Tuloy pa rin yung, yung uh, infusion ng, ano, ng dextran. Pag hindi mo inuna ito, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yan. Anong unang mong gagawin? Yan. So, unang-unang gagawin mo dyan is what? So, unang gagawin natin dyan is, ang pinakaano po dyan, kasi may ano dito eh, Okay. So, ang gagawin po natin dito is what? So, pinaka-pest po natin gagawin. Actually, um, ganito yan eh. Sa, sa practice, ganito. Uh, agad yan, pinapa, ano yan, discontinue yan. Okay? Pero, theoretically, yan, theoretically, Uh, based on the book, yan. ang una daw gagawin is what? Ang una daw gagawin is i-place daw muna siya sa father's position by the book. Okay, nasa Pogir yun eh. Yan. Yan. Saka ano rin? Um... Uh, pag discontinue kasi na word medyo mala medyo ano kasi yung punto nila dito pagdating sa book eh pag sinabi kasi lang yung from the word na discontinue nila doon ang ibig sabihin is to ano parang stop mismo yung IV line yan dapat daw from the word ano lang immediate stop lang yung infusion yun sana yung mas maganda 
Kaso yung word na discontinue yung ginawa doon is ano, um, parang isa-stop mo mismo yung IV line. Kumbaga, ta- i-remove mo yung IV line. Parang yun yung ibig sabihin nila doon. And kaya, ang best best din dito is letter B. And place on uh, place Luther on a Fowler's position. So, based on Kogir din, ang unang-unang gagawin daw, by the book, ang sinabi is, ilagay daw muna sa, sa Fowler's position. And, and after that, uh, immediately stop the infusion. Pero sa practice, nauunang, ano, kasi, nauunang stop infusion din. Kasi madali lang naman stop yung infusion kung tutusin eh. Ayan. So, pero by the book, susundin muna natin yun. Okay? Play, uh, Fowler's position muna. Ayan. Kasi, um, decrease infusion rate, so wala rin mangyayari. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung infusion. Okay? So, mali na yan. Call the, call the attending physician, uh, dapat sa gantong situation, makagawa na tayo ng patawagin natin na independent nursing intervention. So, ang pag-call ng physician, dapat may, may, nag- may nagawa na tayo prior to calling the, the attention of the physician. So, letter B is the correct answer. Alright? Number 55. Luther, Luther central beam's pressure is monitored every hour. So, when you measure the CVP using a water manometer, you are expected to observe which of the following to ensure accuracy of CVP measurement. Okay? So, kailangan... Pag mag-measure tayo ng uh, CVP okay, for accurate measurement, dapat yung manometer is what? Nasa zero point. Okay? Ang zero point manometer, dapat nasa level siya ng right atrium. So the correct answer is letter T. Okay? So kung ito drawing mo yan, so ganito kasi yung parang manometer niya ni. Eh. So parang ganyan siya. Tapos meron ditong uh, three-way na stop cap. Teka lang. Teka, teka. So parang ano siya, malaking thermometer siya. Parang malaking thermometer siya, tapos nibilog dito. Yan, tapos nandito yung mga, pre- nandito yung mga uh, sa measurement in uh, centimeter water. Yan, nandiyan yan. Eh, pressure, rather. Yan. Tapos may bilog dito, may bilog. Yan. Tapos may line yan. Tapos may ano dito, uh, three-way stop cap. Yan, yung pinipihit dyan. Meron dyan yan. Okay? Now, yung zero point manometer, for example, ito yung zero point manometer. So, kailangan yan naka-level sa right atrium. Yan. So, dapat naka-level yan dyan. So, ginagawa dyan, uh, pag magme-measure ka na, bawa, nakalagay, nakalagay sa order ng doktor. So, uh, measure CVP every hour. Halimbawa, ganun yung order ng doktor. So, ginagawa dyan, ipipihit mo lang tong three-way stop cap para yung, yung water maka-flow. Packet dyan. Ngayon, itong bilog dito, yung parang bulitas dyan, aangat yan. Ayan, aangat yan. Okay, pag uma- nakaangat na siya, for example, um, ginawa mo yung bulitas niyan hanggang sa 25, halimbawa. Then, ikaklose mo na yan. So, dahan tas dahan-dahang bababa yan. Ngayon, kung saan siya kuminto na parang nag, nagpapalusate, okay? nandun na siya nakasteady, kung saan siya kuminto, yun yung CVP. Okay? Yun yung magiging CVP. Ang normal na CVP, okay? iba'y pa kasi, merong 4 to 10, Uh, CMH2O Teka nga, 4 to 10 4 to 10 Ayan. Ayan. CMH2O or 2 to 6 millimeter mercury Ayan. So kapag nakuha ang level is uh, pressure is for example 5 or 6, or basta nasa range ng, ano, ng 2 to 6, ganyan. So that is, the, uh, the, nasa normal, ano siya, normal CVP. Okay? Ngayon, pag mababa siya, mababa, for example, mababa sa 2. Or for example, ang ginawang uh, normal is 4, halimbawa 4 to 10, or 4 to 8, ang ginawang, uh, or, 
O, na ginawang normal na CBP. So, ano ba? B- below the normal level. So, it means, pag below the normal level, ang CBP, dehydrated yung patient. Okay? Dehydrated yung patient. Ngayon, kapag ang CBP mataas, ibig sabihin, overhydrated yung patient. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang CBP, ginagamit po ito to what? To monitor the hydration status of the patient. Okay? To monitor the hydration status of the patient. Iyon ang gamit ng CBP. Okay? So, kapag mababa ang CBP level, so it means dehydrated yung patient. Kapag mataas ang CBP level, mataas yung pressure, it means fluid volume excess meron yung patient or overhydrated si patient. So, yun yung ibig sabihin po. Na, nakuha po, nakuha. So, basta tandaan na, ang CBP ginagamit po ito to uh, monitor the hydration status of the patient. So, pag mababa ang CBP, dehydrated yung patient. Kapag mataas masyado ang CBP, ang central venous pressure, so it means that the patient is what? Has fluid volume excess or uh, overhydrated. Okay? Overhydration si patient. Okay? So, yan po. May, may, may nakakuha na po ng 5. May nakakuha na po ng 5. Or kahit 4. Yan, okay lang yan. Okay? Next. So, as an emergency department nurse, you should always be ready for any kind of emergency situation. So, Noel, 30-year-old factory worker, is brought to the emergency department with multiple lacerations and okay, multiple lacerations tissue avulsion sa right hand daw. So, getting his hand stuck in a product conveyor belt. So, when asked about tetanus immunization, so, so when asked about tetanus immunization, he says, okay, he says, I, I've never had any vaccinations. So, you will anticipate administration of what? So, may keyword ka na dito. When asked about tetanus immunization, he says, I've, I have never had any vaccinations. So, wala siyang kahit anong vaccinations. So, ano daw yung i-anticipate mo na ibibigay sa patient? So, what is your answer? What is your answer? Anyone? Answer. Tetanus toxoid ba? Uh, immunoglobulin and tetanus diphtheria toxoid, immunoglobulin, or immunoglobulin, tetanus diphtheria toxoid, and pertussis vaccine. So ano kaya? What is your answer? Anyone? Okay, so ang keyword dito, ah, I never had any vaccination. So, wala siya kahit ano. Yan. So, wala siya kahit ano. So, the best answer here is letter D. Yan. Kung sinabi niya sana, wala siyang tetanus immunization. So, doon tayo sa ano. Uh, yan, tetanus toxoid. Pero sabi niya, I've never had any vaccination. So wala siya kahit ano. So doon tayo sa kompleto na. So that, uh, DPT ito, yung beat, ato, uh, tetanus diphtheria toxoid and pertussis vaccine. So yan, para mas kompleto na. Okay, next. Clear natin to. Number 57. So, Millard is brought to the emergency department by his co-worker after suffering from amputation of his left middle finger. As his nurse, which of the following should you avoid to do? So, ano daw yung i-avoid? Yan. Amputation of his left middle finger. So, ano daw yung i-avoid? 
placing the wrap finger in a plastic bag, um, cleansing the stump area with normal saline, wrapping the amputated finger in uh, sterile gauze, moistened with saline, or placing the amputated finger directly on ice. So what is your answer here? So remember, kapag ang patient na, 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 naputulan o nag, nagkaroon ng amputation, so yung severed body part or yung naputol na body part, anong gagawin natin doon? Okay? So ang gagawin natin doon is what? So pwede natin siyang, kung may ghost ka, pwede mong balutan yun. Okay? Tapos pwede, tapos yung ghost, pwede mong basahin ng saline. Or, uh, kung walang ghost, pwede i-balot mo siya sa plastic. Yan. Balot mo siya sa plastic. Then, um, kung pwede mo siyang ilagay sa may ice, pero kailangan may balot muna siya. Hindi mo siya po pwedeng ilagay yung for example yung yung naputo na daliri ilalagay mo direct sa ice. 'Yun ang dapat i-avoid kasi masisira yung tissue. So pag ganoon hindi na siya pwedeng ikabit kasi po pwede pa ikabit yan eh basta ma-preserve lang. Kasama ng patient yan dadalhin sa hospital para maikabit pa. Okay? So ang mali po dito yung i-avoid, yung dapat i uh, which of the following should you avoid to do etong letter D. Kasi ilalagay mo din yung finger direct sa ice. Hindi po pwede. Okay? It, can, it will cause tissue damage. So, hindi na siya po pwedeng uh, gamitin. Ayan. Okay? So, first aid yan. Part of first aid. Number 58, Justine, a seven-year-old child is brought to the emergency department by his mother complaining of arm pain after falling off a swing at, at school. After assessing Julius, Julius pain as 8 on a, scale, on a pain scale of 1 to 10, which will be your priority activity? Yeah. So, ano, ang pain scale niya is 8 from 1 to 10. So, mataas yung, ano niya, yung pain scale. Assume that Justin is too young to verbalize how much pain he is experiencing. Uh, obtain further information about his pain using age-appropriate tool. Give Justin a narcotic pain medication or ask the mother to wait in the waiting room to find out if Justin gets better without his mother. So, yung letter A, so inappropriate na to. Yan. Okay. <clears throat> so, ano kaya ang tamang sagot natin dito? Yung letter B kasi, obtain further information about his pain using appropriate age uh, using a pro, uh, obtain further information about this pain using age appropriate tool. Yeah. So may ginawa ka na kasi ano, may pain skin na naginawa. Tapos sumagot din siya. Okay, ang pain ang ilan niya is 8. So okay yung tool na to. Yan. So okay to. Maso uh <coughs> hindi siya yung tamang sagot natin dito. Kasi yung pain scale na niya kasi is 8 na. Yan. So, mamili ka na na between C and D. So, since pag ang pain scale daw ay 8, okay, pag ang pain scale is 8, pwede na po ta, pwede na po magbigay na pwede na po magbigay na narcotic pain medication. Okay, kapag ano lang, ang pain skill niya is uh, 1 to 3. Uh, kung pwede dyan, mga paracetamol, yan, mga ibuprofen, kung pwede yan. <clears throat> Pag ang pain skill is 4 to 7, kung pwede mix ng ano, ng, kung pwede mix ng, ng low strength na narcotic analgesic, saka ng 
isa pang uh, analgesic or NSAID. Pero kapag 8 to 10 na, <coughs> ano na to? Uh, nar- narcotic analgesics na yan. Uh, or narcotic pain medication na yan. Ang binibigay. Number 59, during primary assessment of Lawrence, who has sustained multiple traumas, you observe that his right pedal pulses are absent and the leg is swollen. Which priority is, which, uh, your priority action is to what? <clears throat> and during the primary assessment, Like sustain a multiple trauma, you observe that he, that his right pedal pulses are absent and the leg is swollen. So, ano daw priority action mo? <clears throat> okay. So, pag nagpa-primary sir, primary assessment ka kasi, So usually, yan, check ka ng ano, check ka ng consciousness ng patient. Ayan yung mga check-check dyan eh, during the primary assessment eh. Okay? Tapos to fa- follow to follow dyan, after nya, ayan na, papasok na yung airway breathing circulation dyan and disability survey. So, yun yung, yun yung priority mo dapat dito. Kasi yung ano naman dito, so kung titignan mo din yung case dito, right pedal pulses are absent and the leg is swollen. So, <clears throat> pag may absence of pedal pulses, tapos yung leg ay eh, swollen, so malamang sa malamang yan, pag ganyan ang case yan, kung pwedeng fracture yan. Okay? Kung pwedeng fracture yan. So, tapusin mo muna yung airway breathing circulation hanggang umabot dun sa area na may ganyan. Okay? Then, sa gagawa ng uh, management doon. So, un- tapusin mo na yung airway breathing circulation kasi mas priority kasi ito eh. Yan. Mas priority kasi yan eh. Yung airway breathing circulation. Kaya yun yung sagot. Sa kanya tinatanong, your priority action. Okay? <clears throat> 60. Anton, an unconscious 20-year-old college student is admitted to the emergency department About 45 minutes after ingesting approximately 30 diazepam tablets, the physician prescribes gastric lavage. As nurse, your first action when implementing the order is to what? So as a nurse now, your action when implementing the order So para ma ang ano diyan para ma hindi bumaba ko na yung medication okay sa stomach so para ma stay lang siya sa stomach so you follow the contour of the stomach by placing the patient in what on his side so to be specific Saan may place To follow the contour of the stomach. So place mo siya a left lateral position. So letter ko eh. Number 61. So situation you are assigned in cancer institution and caring for five patients with varying types of cancer. So 61. Darren with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma develops a plated count of 10,000 uh, unit liter during chemotherapy. Based on these findings, an appropriate nursing intervention is to what? What is our answer here? <clears throat> so look, ilan ba ang normal platelet count? What is a normal platelet count? Normal platelet count. Pero sabi natin, 150,000 to 450,000. Okay? 
Okay? So that is a normal plated count. Ngayon, ang plated count niya is 10. 10,000 na lang. So sobrang baba na po niya. Okay? So ano na po gagawin natin niya? Remember, pag sobrang baba ang platelet, eh, sobrang baba ang platelet, at risk for bleeding ang patient. Tama? Okay, at, risk for, at, at risk for bleeding ang patient. So ano to yung appropriate nursing intervention mo? Okay, encourage fluids to 3,000 ml per day. So depende pa yan kung i-allow yan. So hindi basta-basta yan. Okay. Give oral hygiene every two hours. So hindi siya related. Check the temperature. Okay saan na to? Kasi nakikimotherapy yung patient. But ang um, problem natin is platelet count. Okay sana kung ang kung ang nakalagay dyan is WBC count tapos mababa or neutrophil count tapos mababa yung level. So okay sana to check the temperature every 4 hours. Okay sana yan. Kaso platelet count kasi pinag-usapan natin. So mali yan. So answer is letter boy. So check all stools for occult blood. Okay? Kasi pag may occult blood, so may, may nangyayaring bleeding. Okay? Pag may occult blood sa stool. 62, Franny, a 26-year-old teacher with stage 2 Hodgkin's lymphoma, asked you, how long do I have to live? Her best response is, what? And most patients with your stage of Hodgkin's disease are treated successfully. I, it will depend on how your disease responds to radiation, but most patients do well. Okay, you know, no one can predict how long how long someone will live. So try to focus on the, the present. So with ongoing maintenance chemotherapy, the 10 year survival rate is very good. Okay, so as you can see, okay, yung mga yung mga choices, yung letter A, most patients with your Stage of Hodgkin's disease are treated successfully. So, nagbibigay ka ng false reassurance dyan. Okay? Yung letter D naman, nagbibigay ka rin ng false reassurance. Okay? So, mamimili ka na lang between B and C. Okay? Between boy and cat. Yeah. So, the correct answer here is letter 1. Letter C, okay? You know, no one can predict how long someone will live. So try to focus on the present, okay? Yung letter B kasi, it will depend on how your disease responds to radiation, but most patients do well. Um, hindi naman radiation lang, di ba? Ang treatment for Hodgkin's disease. May chemotherapy pa, okay? Yung radiation, depende yan kung lumalaki ang tumor. Yeah, so... Depende yun. So, hindi lang basta radiation therapy. Meron pang chemotherapy. So, mali, mali yung letter ko. Okay. Uh, lack of knowledge yan kapag ganyan. So, letter C ang tamang sagot. Okay. Next. Alright, so 63 Loida who has ovarian cancer tells you I don't think my husband cares about me anymore. He, re he rarely visits me during the visit of Loida's husband. You, are, you greeted him and he told you I couldn't stand to see my wife so I'll my wife so ill and I don't know what to say about, I don't know what to say to her which will be your appropriate nursing diagnosis in this situation. Okay, so ano kaya ang tamang sagot natin dito? Uh, interrupted family process related to effects of illness on family members. Uh, compromised family coping related to disruption in lifestyle and role changes. Risk for caregiver role, res uh, role strain related to burden of caregiving responsibilities or impaired home maintenance related to perceived role changes. Yeah. 
Okay? So, yung letter C, yan, risk for caregiver role strain related to burdens of care, caregiving responsibilities. Uh, mali po yan. Saka yung letter dog, yung impaired home maintenance related to perceived role changes. Yan. Based on situation kasi, medyo malayo tong C and D. So, mamimili ka na lang between A and B. Yan. Interrupted family process related to, to effect of illness of family members. Yung letter A, uh, interrupt family process, uh, usually kasi it defined as ano eh, a change in family relationship and or functioning. Okay? So, in, walang cues para mag-support ng uh, nursing diagnosis dito sa situation natin. So, ang pinakamalapit lang talaga ng sagot dito is letter po eh. Yan. Compromised family coping related to disruption in lifestyle and role changes. Yan. <clears throat> Number 64, Nia, a 40-year-old single mother who mother of two, two school-age children in hus is hospitalized with met metastatic cancer of the ovary. You find her crying and she tells you that she does not know what will happen if, uh, to her children when she dies. Your most appropriate, res mo your most appropriate response is what? So, what is her most appropriate response? So, takot daw siyang... Uh, so, umiyak siya kasi hindi daw niya alam ang gagawin niya in case na mamatay siya. So, hindi niya alam kung ano mangyari sa mga anak niya. So, ano daw yung appropriate response mo? Okay, uh, perhaps your ex-husband will take care will take care of the children when you when you can care of them. So, hindi ito ang appropriate response. Okay? Pag yan ang sinagot mo, baka mag-away lang kayo niyan. <laughs> yung pasyente. Yan. Many patients with cancer live for a long time. So, there is a time to plan for your children. So, may tendency kasi dito pwede kang magbigay ng ano dito eh, na parang uh, reassurance eh. So, hindi po pwede yun, di ba? So, therapeutic communication, bawal ang false reassurance. Okay? Uh, why don't we talk about the options you have for the care of your children? Yeah. So, may why. So, mali na siya. So, answer is A. For now, you need to concentrate on getting well do not worry about your uh, children. Yeah. <clears throat> so para ang dito kasi, so para makapag-focus siya sa, uh, sa treatment, yan, makapag-concentrate siya sa paggaling niya, sa mga gagawing management niya, sa makapag-focus siya. So, yun yung pinaka, ano doon. Kasi yung mother kasi worried eh. Worried yung mother in case na mawala kasi siya. 65. When assessing Leo's need for uh, psychological support after she has been diagnosed with cancer, stage 1 cancer of the colon, which questions will you ask to give the, which questions will you ask to give you the most information? Sagot natin dito. Uh, are you familiar with the stages of emotion adjustment to diagnosis like cancer of the colon? Yeah. Or how long ago? How long ago were you diagnosed with cancer? How do you feel about having possibility having a possibly terminal illness? Or can you tell me what has been helpful to you in the past when coping? with stressful events. So, ano kaya dito yung makakapagbigay ng 
marami pang information sa iyo. Kasi dito sa 65, ang goal natin dito is mapakwento mo yung patient. Okay? Mapakwento mo siya. Kasi yung ibang yung ibang choices ko dito is answerable by yes or no. Yeah. Tapos yung isa yung isa dito, hindi siya makakapagbigay ng information na kailangan mo. Okay? Nakatulad ng letter A, are you familiar with stages of cancer to adjust to a diagnosis like cancer to follow? So, it, it's a, it's, it is answerable by yes or no. So, mali na yan. Okay? How long ago were you diagnosed with cancer? So, sasagutin lang niya, baba, uh, two, three years, yun know? So, hindi mo siya mapa, hindi mo ma, hindi ka makakuha ng maraming information. Yeah. How do you feel? about having a possibly terminal illness? Yeah. Or can you tell me what has been helpful to you in the past when coping stressful events? Kasi ang hinanap natin dito is what? Ito, needs psychologic support. Aling kaya dito yun? So, answer is letter do. Yan. Look. Cope, when coping with stressful events. Yan. Yan. Can you tell me what has been helpful to you in the past when coping with stressful? So, mas magandang ano to? Uh, psychological support na kailangan ng patient. Yan. Okay. So para malaman mo, ah ganito pala yung ginagawa niya kapag during ano siya, uh, during stressful events. So ganito pala ginagawa niya. So pwede mong uh, pwede mong gawin din sa kanya. Pwede mo ring gawin sa kanya. O pwede mo ipaalala sa kanya. O pwede mo siyang tulungan doon. Okay? <clears throat> Number 66. Chad, 58 years old, post total ring uh, total thyroidectomy with modified neck dissection due to papillary can Carcinoma of the thyroid gland with lymph node metastasis was admitted to for radioactive iodine therapy. So prior to admission, the client underwent a scan with a amount of radioactive iodine. If you were the nurse who admitted the client, which of the following will you consider as the reason for this intervention? So what is your answer here? To determine existence of known distant metastatic tumor, to measure size of remaining thyroid tissue, to explore the operative site for baseline data, or to mark the site where the radioactive iodine will be administered. So, ano sagot natin? So, ano kaya? So, sabi daw, prior to admission, the client underwent a scan with a test amount of radioactive iodine. Nag-underwent siya ng scan. So usually ano to, mga RAI, radioactive iodine uptake. Uptake, yan yung mga yun. So if you were the nurse who admitted the client, which of the following you considered as a reason for this intervention? So answer here is, kasi pag nag ano, uh, bawa nagbigay ng RAI sa patient, tapos mag-underwent siya ng thyroid scan. May kita kasi doon, okay, may kita kasi doon kung meron pang mga tumor. Yan. Determine existence of known distant metastatic tumor. So may kita kasi doon kung meron na naman tumor yan, or may natirang tumor or may namumuan na naman tumor. So may kita, may kita kasi doon. <clears throat> Pag ang patient is binigyan ng radioactive iodine uptake, is the patient Radioactive or not? Yeah. 
Pag binigyan ng RA IU yung patient or radioactive iodine uptake, is the patient radioactive or not? Yeah. So, radioactive ang patient. So, if radioactive yung patient, pag pupunta siya sa CR, ano yung tuturo mo sa kanya? If ever the patient is, ang baba, ambulatory naman siya. Pag pumunta siya sa CR, ano yung tuturo mo sa kanya? Kailangan mag-flush na toilet ilang beses? Three times. Okay, very good. Okay, remember yung mga pawis din yan, yung blood niyan, yung urine niyan, yung feces niyan, mga secretions niya, radioactive. Okay? 67. In the, in the nursing care plan prepared for the client, which of the following nursing intervention is least relevant to ensure a safe environment once treatment has started? Yeah. Least relevant. Yeah. Least relevant. Yeah. So, pag may mga ganyan, uh, i-highlight ninyo or bilugan ninyo. Yeah. Para hindi nyo ma-overlook. Yeah. So, least relevant. Uh, utilize preferably only disposable items for a patient's personal use. Provide hand sanitizers. Dispose of property garbage. Bags marked with radioactive. Have all frequently handled items in the room covered with absorbent material. So, ang sagot natin. And least relevant ito, least, least relevant. So, ang sagot natin. So, remember, di ba, Kapag ang patient radioactive, dapat ang mga ginagamit niya is what? Disposable. Diba? Dapat disposable yun. Pupunta siya sa toilet, flush three times. Okay? Mga gagamitin niya, disposable. Yan. So, dapat ganun. Lahat ng ginamit niya dapat itatapon sa lalagyanan for uh, mga radioactive. Yan. Ang least relevant po dito is yung letter boy. Yan. Provide hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers in the corridor outside the client's room. Hindi po yan makakatulong okay? in preventing the transmission of ano, radioactive materials. So hindi po yan makakatulong yung hand sanitizer. So least, ano na siya, least relevant na siya. Yan. Kasi yung letter A, utilize preferably only disposable. So tama, so ito. Dispose appropriate, appropriately garbage bags marked radioactive. So dapat talaga dun yun sa mga radioactive siya ilalagay. Yan. Have all frequently handed items in the room covered with ito. So okay, ito. ito. List relevant siya. Kasi hindi ang hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers, hindi naman siya makakatulong to prevent transmission of radioactive uh, substance or materials. So, hindi naman siya makakapulong. Kaya least relevant siya. Okay. Next. Number 68. So, as the nurse assigned to the client, you understand that after radioactive iodine has been administered, excess iodine not absorbed by the thyroid tissue will leave the body primarily through which of the following? So, syempre, uh, saan ba yung lalabas? So, pag binigyan siya ng radioactive iodine. So, lalabas, ano yan? Uh, Lalabas yan, yan, lalabas yan saan? Sabi, excess iodine not absorbed by the thyroid tissue will leave the body 
you know, we leave the body primarily through which of the following? Sa urine. Okay. Sa, sal sa saliva kasi, may, meron din konti. Sa sweat, uh, meron din konti. Sa feces, meron din naman. Pero small amounts lang. Pinakamarami sa urine. Sa urine ang pinakamaraming lalabas talaga. Okay. 69. To ensure effectiveness of radioactive iodine therapy, you expect a physician will prescribe low iodine diet during which of the following? So answer here is letter boy. Yeah. Two weeks before, then uh, during and until two days after the treatment. So yung patient is naka low iodine. Uh, naka ano siya? Uh, low iodine diet siya. Tandaan na, uh, prior, uh, prior to radioactive iodine therapy, so low iodine intake lang, hindi yung no iodine or iodine free. Okay? No, ano lang ha, low iodine intake. Hindi po no iodine or itatawag natin ng free iodine or iodine free. Yan. Low iodine po. Okay? Low iodine. Next, 70. When planning discharge, which of the following instruction you, will you consider for reduction of radioactive exposure to others? Use private toilet facilities and flush two to three times after use. Tama kaya to? Yung number one. Tama pa to number one? What do you think? Tama kayo number one, yung use private toilet facilities and flash two to three times after use. Okay, so tama yan. Ayan. Wash eating utensils separately from others. So, okay lang din to. Ayan. Pwede disposable or pwede hugasan siya. Pero siya pa rin ang gagamit niya. Pero nakahiwalay yun. Pag hinugasan yun, nakahiwalay doon sa gagamitin ng iba. Hindi po pwedeng magkakasama silang hinugasan. Hindi po pwede. Okay. Drink normal intake of uh, fluids. Tapos, uh, bathe daily and wash hands frequently, stay in isolation at home two weeks after the initial treatment. So, ano kayo tamang sagot nito? Okay. Kasi di ba yung 1 and 2 natin tama naman yan eh. Okay, tama naman siya eh. Yan. Ano kaya? Actually, ito, stay in isolation at home. Two weeks. Actually, ito yung pamali. Yung two. One week lang, oh. Uh, stay lang ng one week. 
Hindi naman kailangan two weeks. Ayan. Okay. So, ano kaya pinaka ano dito? Pinaka malapit. Kasi wala na yung five na to eh. So, wala na to. Wala na yan. Ayan. Kaso itong A, all except three. So, ibig sabihin, sinama rin yung five. Eh, wala na yung five. So, ito yung pinaka malapit sa to. Yung number four. Ah, yung, yung letter D. Okay. Next number seventy one. So bef uh Anton, fifty five year old music teacher, sought admission to the hospital because of laryngeal tumor. Patient is scheduled for total laryngectomy. So before the nurse can develop a relative relevant care plan, the nurse understands that in post total laryngectomy, the trachea in the esophagus are permanently separated. Therefore, which of the following will the nurse expect? So remember, ha, pag nag, uh, total laryngectomy yung patient, <clears throat> di ba remember, uh, di ba mag-meet sila ng ano, yung from the oropharynx, orofary, then doon sa may nasopan, doon pa ba ba yung mag-meet sila, di ba? Tapos hanggang sa may epiglottis. Sa baba ng epiglottis, yun yung larynx. Okay? So, nandun yung cancer. Okay? So, for example, ito. Ito yung droid tayo. Yan. Ito yung mouth. Tinggaling sa mouth. Tinggaling sa ilong. Okay? So, yan sila. So, pagdating dito, yan. So, nandyan yung epiglottis. Yan. Ito, pupunta sa esophagus. Ito, pupunta sa lungs. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung larynx ngayon. So, nandyan yung tumor. Ayan, nandito yung tumor. Ngayon, pag nag-total thyroidectomy, pag nag-total thyroidectomy, so, tatanggalin yung ay, sorry. Tatanggalin yung larynx. Okay? So, mangyayari niyan, so, ganyan na lang siya. Yan. Tapos, yung from trachea na galing, so, magkakaroon ng permanent opening dito. Tapos, may laryngek tumichu. Yan. So, wala na larynx dyan. So, ganyan na mangyayari niyan. Okay? Ito yung, laryng ito yung laryngek tumichu. And remember, ano bang function ng larynx? So sabi, ang larynx daw, this is the voice box. So pag tinanggal ang larynx, wala siyang boses. Okay? Wala siyang boses. Pag tinanggal yung larynx. <clears throat> So, ano kaya tamang sagot? So, yung ano dito, laryngectomy tube, it is also the same as parang sa tracheostomy tube din. Yan. Magkikreate kasi ng stoma dyan eh. Tracheo, Magte-tracheotomy, tapos may uh, pwedeng tracheostomy tube na kalagay o kaya yung uh, parang laryng, yung laryngectomy tube. So, ano kaya tamang sagot natin dyan? Kasi ito letter B, wala na to Normal speaking, breathing, and swallowing restored. Ito normal speaking, ito wala na yan. So ano kaya? So no risk of aspiration during swallowing, speech is lost 
Actually, sa una, meron pang risk for aspiration niya. Sa mga una, yung immediately post-op. So, hindi pa siya po pwede. Yan. Unable to communicate with difficulty for swallowing and breathing. So, hindi rin. So, pinakano dito, itong dog. Permanent tracheostomy created. Normal speech is lost. 72. So, letter D, number 71. 72, preoperatively, the nurse assigned. The nurse, uh, preoperatively, the nurse, uh, the assigned nurse identified the nursing diagnosis. Knowledge deficit, post-operative communication strategies. Which of the following is a relevant nursing intervention? Okay. So, knowledge deficit, post-operative communication strategies. Which of the following is a relevant nursing intervention? Ano kaya? Clarify information on purpose, anticipate benefits, and consequences of total ringectomy. Explain that the total ringectomy results in loss of ability to verbally communicate. Uh, verbally communicate. Arrange a visit to a post-laryngectomy client who effectively uses an alternative form of verbal communication or illustrate means of communicating post-operatively. Ano kaya? Yan, knowledge deficit, post-operative communication strategies. So, ano daw yung relevant nursing intervention? So, ibig sabihin nito kasi, uh, knowledge deficit post-operative communication strategies. So, remember, di ba, uh, walang voice ang patient. Okay? So, walang voice ang patient. So, ngayon, ano yung nursing care plan mo para sa kanya? So, nag-formulate ka ngayon. Ang, na ang nursing diagnosis mo is knowledge deficit post-operative communication strategies. So, ngayon, anong intervention mo ngayon? Na dapat relevant dun sa nursing diagnosis mo and doon sa problem. Kasi di ba kailangan dyan is what? Dapat tuturuan mo dito yung patient kung paano makipag, uh, kung paano magkaroon ng, uh, kung paano siya makipag-communicate. Yan. Kailangan makahalap siya, na, kailangan mat maturuan mo siya ng communication strategies. Yan, ano kaya dito? <clears throat> Tapos, from the word post-operative. Yan. So, ano kaya? Post-op mismo. Kasi arrange a visit to post-laryngectomy client who effectively uses an alternative form of verbal communication. Um, ang mahirap kasi dito kapag uh, ang gagawin is parang kukuha ka ng idea sa, sa iba. Tapos hindi naman niya kayang gawin. Okay? So dapat as a nurse, it, ituturo mo yung alam mo na madali para sa kanya. Huwag ka mo nang kukuha ng ideas from uh, or experience ng others. So, dapat yung ano muna. Based on your knowledge as a nurse. So, dapat yun ang maituro mo sa kanya. Saka yung patient is ano rin, post-op. Okay? Kasi kung if ever, okay yung letter C, mag-set up ka pa ng schedule. So, medyo matakatagalan pa. Okay? So, dapat pag once na fully awake yung patient, dapat makapagturo ka na sa kanya. Diba? Ganun dapat. Kasi pag hindi ganun, so matatagalan naman siya. So the correct answer here is letter dog. Yan. Illustrate means of communicating post-operatively. So ano yung mga pwede mo ituro sa kanya? So you can use a magic slate. Okay? You can use a magic slate yung parang board na pag sinulatan mo tapos nabubura. 
So pwede siya doon makipag-communicate. Susulat niya yung gusto niya sabihin. Or pwede sa, sa isang uh, paper. Ayan. Tapos yung parang may, ano ka to, may patungan ka. So, doon, siya, doon niya susulat yung gusto niya sabihin. Kasi nga wala siyang boses eh. Hindi, hindi maririnig. Okay? So yun yung mga ways na pwede natin ituro sa kanya or yes is impatient for communication post-operatively. <clears throat> okay? Number 73, in the immediate post-operative period, the nurse assess co- course high-pitch sound on inspiration by listening over the trachea with stethoscope. The nurse should what? Okay, look. Nakasis ka doon ng course high-pitch sound on inspiration by listening over the trachea with a stethoscope. Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin nito? And in the immediate post-operative period. Yan. So nakarinig ka daw ng coarse high pitch sound on inspiration by listening over the trachea with a stethoscope. So during high pitch sound during inspiration. So pag may high pitch sound during inspiration, tapos ganito yung mga patient, gantong case yung patient mo. So ano to? It means that there is a what? Okay, high pitch sound on inspiration. So abnormal 'yan. So pwedeng ano 'yan, stridor. So if ever there is a stridor, so it, it is considered airway obstruction. Eh okay, pwedeng magkaroon yan ng airway obstruction. So ano gagawin mo as a nurse? Okay? Kasi dito rin sa situation na 'to, meron ka nang assessment. Okay, nakapag-assess ka na. Diba sabi, assess before you do an intervention. Okay? And remember that stridor is what? It is a... It, is, it can cause airway obstruction. So, ang gagawin mo na dyan is what? Report mo na yan sa surgeon. Kasi kailangan, kailangan yan ma-report agad. Kasi delikado po ang patient kapag nag, nag-develop pa na nag-develop yung stridor niyan. Kasi ibig sabihin po pwedeng may nagkakos ng airway obstruction doon. Po pwedeng namamagay ang trachea, etc. Or kung ano man yung nagbabara doon. Okay, so report yan, report. Report agad. Right, next. Try natin. Nakakasunod po, nakakasunod. Nakasunod po. Okay. So number 74. Which of the following expected outcomes for the patient is most relevant for the nursing diagnosis at risk for imbalanced nutrition related to impaired swallowing? Okay. So expected outcomes. Yeah. A nursing diagnosis Risk for imbalanced nutrition related to impaired swallowing. So ano kayong tamang sagot natin dito? Okay. So look, at risk daw, at risk. Yan. Most relevant for the nursing diagnosis, at risk. So from the word at risk, Ibig sabihin ba eh currently nangyayari na or mangyayari pa lang yung problem? Potentially mangyayari pa lang. Ano kaya doon? Nangyayari, nangyayari na or potentially mangyayari pa lang? Yan. Pupwedeng mangyayari. Yan. So, ibig sabihin at risk is pupwedeng mangyayari pa lang. Potentially pwedeng mangyari. Yan, yung problema. So, ibig sabihin nun. Yan. So, ano kaya ang tama sagot natin dito? So, kasi gagawa ka ng ano dito eh, ng... Kasi at risk nga eh. So, syempre, gagawa ka ng intervention din na parang hindi mangyari. 
Okay? So, ano kaya yung uh, expected outcomes? Appropriate body weight maintained, fear of choking relief, oral intake increase, or swallowing of food, of soft food facilitated. So remember, uh, uh, risk for imbalanced nutrition related to impaired, uh, related to impaired swallowing. So yun yung nursing diagnosis mo. So kung sasagutin natin appropriate body, appropriate body weight maintain, wala kasing uh, any data pertaining to uh, weight loss dito. Okay? Ang problem natin is related to impaired swallowing. And at risk, eh, at risk for imbalanced nutrition related to impaired swallowing. So wala pang... Uh, walang data regarding sa about sa weight. Okay? Walang cues na kahit ano. Yan. Fear of choking, relief. Yan. Uh, appropriate outcome din naman yan. Kaso, it is more on anxiety kasi. Yan. From the word fear, eh. fear of choking. So, kung pwedeng related siya to anxiety. Yan. So, ano kaya ang tamang sagot dito? Yan. And ang hinahanap, this, hinahanap din is expected outcomes. So, the answer here is letter dog. Yan. Swallowing of soft food facilitated. So it means, okay, if the client can swallow a soft food, yan. So it means, so nasa swallow niya soft food, so magandang outcome yun. Alright? So nakakakain yung patient kahit soft food. So that is a, that is an expected outcomes na. Yan. And, at least, di ba, nakalagay sa nursing diagnosis, at least for imbalanced nutrition related to impaired swallowing. Ito, nakakaswallow siya of soft food. Facilitated. So, nakakasubo siya, nakakalunok siya. So, magandang outcome yun. Magandang kinalabasan na intervention. So, expected outcomes. 75. The nurse is preparing Anton for discharge. The following are instructions regarding stoma and post-operative care. Exempt. Avoid exposure to person with upper respiratory disease. So, ang inanap natin, exempt. Ha? Yan. So, pag, sa, sa exam, pag may mga word na exempt, yan. may mga modifiers po na ganyan. Bilugan nyo agad. Kasi baka mga may ma-overlook ninyo. Ang ma-choose nyo answer is wrong. Okay? So avoid exposure to a person with upper respiratory disease. So tama naman ito. Yeah. Instruct the client to assume so fine position as necessary. Avoid swimming and use of care when using the shower. Yeah. So, actually, bawal talaga mag-swimming post-laringectomy care. Eh, bawal mag-swimming. Kasi remember, may permanent, op may permanent stoma sa may leeg mo. Baka mamaya pasok ka ng tubig. So, it can be to aspiration. Okay? Prevent foreign body from entering the stoma. So, tama din naman. So, except ito. Okay, so number 76. So situation consumers of healthcare require improvement in healthcare. So nurses must deliver activities and behaviors and do not and do the right thing well and continue to strive to do better to meet and satisfy diverse needs of patients. Okay, so 76. Nurse Ethel observes the patient with glaucoma while he instills his eye drops. The patient looks up and the 
look up the ceiling and instills the correct number of drops at the middle of the eyeball. Yan. So, in-instill niya yung drops sa may gitna doon ng eyeball. So, the technique used by the patient in the installation of medication is one. Correct, as it spreads the medication over the eyeball. Aim to protect the eyeball from injury. Allowed so that the patient is less likely to bleed. Incorrect because it may damage the cornea. What is your correct answer? So remember, di ba, pag nag instill tayo ng eye drops, so saan natin ito pinapatak? Dapat. Yan. Saan doon natin ito pinapatak? Saan dapat natin pinapatak pag nag-instill tayo ng eye drops? Diba? So tama eh. Tum tumingi, tumingi siya sa taas, sa ceiling. Kaso yun nga lang, mali naman yung area nung pinagpatakan niya ng drops. So saan yung saan niya dapat ito pinapatak? Okay? Where's the exact uh, location? Okay, to instill the, the, the eye drops sa eye. Dapat sa, dapat sa ano to, lower conjunctival sac. Okay, dapat sa lower conjunctival to. Okay, sa may malapit sa, what do you call this, sa, sa outer cantus. Okay, so dapat dun siya. Tanda na, pag mag-instill kayo ng eye drops, dapat sa lower conjunctiva, malapit sa outer cantus. Okay? Hindi natin to ipapatak sa gitna ng eyeball. Okay? So the answer in number 76, this is what? Incorrect. So mali yung ginawa niya. Seventy-seven. The patient had cataract surgery. Shortly after he complains of nausea, which of the following course of action should be given priority by the nurse? Yeah. So, the cataract surgery the patient. So, shortly after he complains of nausea. So, what So, once na yung patient, halimbawa, Ang hinabi dito, ang hinabi dito is ano, course of action should be given priority by the nurse. Yung patient down na complaints of nausea after cataract surgery, shortly after cataract surgery. So, pag ang patient nag-complain ng nausea, okay, nag-complain ng eye pain, okay, immediately after the surgery. So you have to report it to the physician. Okay? Because these signs or these symptoms is what? This is a sign of intraocular pressure. Yeah. This is a sign of increase. Okay? Increase IOP. Yeah. Increase IOP kasi po yan. Increase intraocular pressure. 78. The members of the nursing team were discussing about the activity of the patient treated with detached retina during the nursing rounds. Which of the following statements serves as a guide for the patient during rehabilitation phase? Okay, so ano kaya tama sagot natin? So look at letter A. The patient may resume his activities with moderation the day after the treatment. Okay? Actually, uh, pag ang patient po, uh, nag-undergo ng treatment, for, for example, the, the touch retina. So dapat ang patient po dito is what? Dapat po ang patient is what? Naka-bed rest. 
for at least 24 to 48 hours. Okay? Before siyang magkaroon ng mga light activities. Okay? Or activity with moderation. So, bed rest muna siya ng 24 hours. Ito kasi nakalagay, may resume sa activities with moderation the day after the treatment. So, mali na to. The patient may indulge in normal activities after the treatment. Yun nga. So, hindi po pwede. Kung pwede siyang mag-resume ng activities niya, yung pinaka uh, normal activities niya, ito, ang normal activities dapat, pwede mong i-resume yan at least uh, four to six weeks. Hindi po pwedeng ano, uh, the day after the treatment, di po pwede. And the patient must be restrict, must be restricted in bed for one week. Eh, sabi nga, di ba, ano lang, bed rest lang ng 24 to 48 hours. Di ba? The patient may resume gradually his activities within 5 to 6 months. Ito, uh, 5 to 6 weeks. Ito, 4 to 6 weeks. So, okay ito. So, letter D is the correct answer. 79. So, during the nursing conference, Nurse Ella shares with the team shares with the team the concerns of the wife of a patient with many years disease. She's concerned about the change in the husband's social activities. To assist the wife in adjusting the present situation, the, the team should what? Hello? Uh, nurse Ella shares the, with the team the concerns of the wife of a patient with meniscus. She's concerned about the change in the husband's social activities. Yeah. To assist the wife in adjusting the present situation, the team should what? Yeah. Plan the course of action with the husband. Uh, Create an atmosphere of sense of belonging for the couple. Assist the wife to accept the condition of her husband or explain to the wife that her husband is experiencing social isolation related to attacks of vertigo. Yeah. So remember, your patient is merong Meniere's disease. So concerned daw siya kasi yung husband daw niya nag-change na uh, nagkaroon ng change when it comes to social activities. Okay, to assist the wife in adjusting the present situation the team should what? Remember, kapag ang patient may Meniere's disease, um, hindi niya alam kung kailan attack yung vertigo. Okay, hindi niya alam kung kailan attack yung vertigo. So, because of that, Okay? Dahil hindi niya alam kailan a-attack to. So, takot siya ngayon na baka pag pumunta siya sa ganitong lugar or may ginawa siya, sumama siya sa isang social activities, baka umatak yung vertigo. So, that's why hindi siya nagkakaroon na ng social activities or nagkaroon na ng change in uh, social activities. So the correct answer here, so para makapag-adjust daw sa present situation, yung wife, the answer is letter do. Yan, explain to the wife that her husband is experiencing social social isolation related to attacks of vertigo. So ay 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 niya sumama sa mga activities nga kasi baka mamaya umatak yung vertigo. And remember, pag umatak yung vertigo, so this is a uh, safety concern. Okay, this is a safety concern uh, for the patient. Okay, so answer is letter do. Yeah. X number eighty. The nurse performs ear irrigation in the patient for removal of serum. Okay, so the perfusion of ear irrigation. What relevant information should the nurse, should the staff nurse share with the patient at the start of the procedure? Hmm. 
Amen. Experience of feeling of fullness, warmth, and occasional discomfort when the fluid comes in contact with the lymphatic membrane. Any medications need to be withheld after the procedure and the physician must be notified. Ear irrigation require cooperation from the patient to facilitate introduction of the solution. Or assume lying position on the unaffected side after the procedure to facilitate drainage. So, ano may tama sagot? So look at letter D. Assume lying position on the affected on the unaffected side after the procedure to facilitate drainage. Tapos ear irrigation requires cooperation from the patient to facilitate the introduction of the solution. Yeah. So, anong kaya dito yung relevant information should the nurse share with the patient look at the start of the procedure. Okay? So, pa, uh, pag nagsimula yung procedure, ano kaya yung dapat i-share niya sa patient? Kasi assume line position on the unaffected side after the procedure. To, kasi ano na to? So uh, this is after the procedure. Kasi ang ano natin, at, ano eh, at the start of the procedure eh. Yun yung keyword eh. Okay? Yung letter C naman, ah, uh, Ear irrigation require cooperation with the with from the patient to facilitate the introduction of the solution. Necessary din naman yan. Pero merong mas mauuna bago dyan. Okay? Yung letter B, any medication needs to be withheld. Ha. So, meron pa rin mas mauuna. So, ang answer is letter A. So, yun yung share ng nurse with the patient at the start of the procedure. So, pwede niya sabihin na uh, at the start of the procedure, so para mabawasan yung anxiety niya. Yan. So, makakaramdam siya na ganito pag nag, uh, nagsastart na mag-irrigate. So, para at expected niya na ganun yung mangyayari. So, mababawasan yung anxiety ng patient. Okay. 81. So, pain brings client to the hospital more than any other symptoms. Nurse should therefore be skillful to assess pain and, and reduce discomfort both for the client and family. Okay. Alejandro came to the hospital with chest pain and fever. After thorough assessment, the doctor was after assessment by the doctor, he was admitted for pericarditis management. The nurse positions the client to reduce pain in this comfort, describe this position. So remember, uh, kapag ang patient may pericarditis, so yung mga position like Fowler's position, uh, sideline position, flat position, high Fowler's position, okay? so it can further aggravate or intensify the pain or the chest, intensify the chest pain. The only position that can relieve the chest pain of the patient for a patient with pericarditis is by assisting the, the patient in a what? What kind of position? So the answer is what? Letter C. Okay, sit the client upright and lean forward. So this is the only position to relieve the chest pain of a patient with uh, pericarditis. Kasi leaning uh, at Fowler's position, sideline position, o nakaliat man yan, o flat on bed, lateral position, okay? pwedeng mag-aggravate ng, ano, ng chest pain. 
Ayan. Or pwede mag-intensify yung chest pain. Okay? So, number 82. Ayan. So, aside from uh, yung mga na-mention natin na position ni kanina, okay, Sabi kayo dito, the nurse is aware that pericarditis pain varies from mild to severe and is typically aggravated by. So pag ginawa niya itong mga activities na to, lalo nag intensify or nag-aggravate and nag intensify yung pain ng patient. So anina na-mention natin yung mga position, powder's position, naka-side lying, etc., etc. And at the same time, if the patient performs uh, inspiration, coughing, and movement of the upper body, it can aggravate the chest pain and mag intensify yung chest pain. So, answer is letter B. Yeah. Ito yung mga activities na pwedeng mag-aggravate ng chest pain sa patient na, na merong pericarditis. Kaya ang patient, eh, kapag may pericarditis, hindi siya gano'ng makahinga ng malalim. Okay? So, ano siya? Uh, shallow breather. Okay, shallow breathing ang ginagawa niya. 83. Alejandro's mother asked why the client's breathing is shallow. Ito na nga. The correct response of the nurse should be, uh, would be what? So answer in number 83 is, ayun, sagot na natin kanina. Pag nihinga siya na malalim, nag intensify lalo yung pain. Eighty four. Alejandro is prescribed NSAID every four hours to relieve fever, inflammation and inflammation and pericardial pain. So to maximize the effect of the drug, the nurse would administer it. The nurse would administer the nurse would, would administer it. What? So nalagay every four hours to relieve fever. So, pag every four hours, this is what? Round the clock. Okay? 85. The nurse wants to know if the, if the client is aware of the side effect of the NSAID. What would be the most appropriate question of the nurse? Side effect daw ng NSAID. Are you aware that you can be addicted to the drug? Have you ever vomited blood or noticed very black stools? How familiar are you with the drug or have you noticed something unusual with your urination? Okay, so side effects of NSAID. Appropriate question of the nurse related to the side effect of NSAID. Have you noticed something unusual with your urination? So hindi po yan related sa NSAID. How familiar are you with the drug? So, hindi siya related or appropriate question regarding the side effect of the NSAID. Okay? So, mamili ka na lang between A and B. So, are you aware that you can be addicted to the drug? So, hindi naman nakaka-addict ito. Pwede na mag-toss ng tolerance. Okay? So, mali na to. So, B is the correct answer. Have you ever vomited blood or noticed very black stool? So, pwede yan... Uh, ma-relate ma sa side effect of NSAIDs. Kasi remember that NSAIDs are what? Gastric irritants. Okay? NSAIDs are gastric irritants. <clears throat> okay? Next. Okay, number 86. Pwede si post-coronary artery bypass sought consult because of severe shortness of breath. Physician impression is acute heart failure. When planning for the nurse of nursing care for Felicito, you are guided by the principles that when heart begins to fail, mechanisms are activated to compensate for the impaired function. Which of the following compensatory mechanisms will you not expect to be activated? Okay, so pag ang puso, okay, kapag ang heart nag-fail, to compensate for the cardiac output 
or to, to increase to increase the cardiac output or to increase the blood pressure of the patient okay to maintain the cardiac output ang mechanism na involved is what the ras okay what else the sns okay, remember sa sns nandiyan si taki nandiyan si vasoconstriction so nandiyan yan and yung pinakapanget na compensatory mechanism ng heart kapag nagfe-fail na siya mag-pump is what yung tinatawag natin na ventricular remodeling or ventricular hypertrophy yan it it think pinakapanget so ang hindi natin i-expect diyan is etong C Vagus nerve stimulation. Pag vagus nerve stimulation kasi mangyayari diyan, bradi yan. Bradycardia, yan, yan ang mangyayari diyan. Kasi pag ang uh, patient nag-heart pa- nag-fail na yung heart to pump, syempre 'di ba kailangan ka maintain yung normal cardiac output. So remember kasi sense ng kidney yan, oy, nababawasan tayo ng cardiac output. So mag-activate si RAS, si RAS. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Tapos yung SNS, baso constriction, okay, may ma-activate yun. Tapos yung pinaka-late, yung ventricular remodeling or ventricular hypertrophy, which is yun yung pinaka-pangit na compensatory mechanism ng heart. Okay, pag nag-fail na siya mag-function. Okay? 87, you set the goals of promote optimal spontaneous breathing pattern that maximizes oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange in the lungs. So from the following list of interventions, which will you consider as most appropriate to reduce the workload of breathing? So ano kaya dito? Ayan. Ang goal mo daw is promote optimal spontaneous breathing pattern that maximize the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange in the lungs. Yan. Ang most appropriate, ano daw yung most appropriate to reduce the workload of breathing? Administer oxygen, auscultate for presence of adventitious breath sounds, monitor oxygen status, or maintain an orthopnic position. So answer here is what? Maintain an orthopnic position. Okay? 88. The physician prescribed pyrosemide Lasix, 40 mg IV stat as the nurse who will administer the drug. Which of the following actions will you do after 20 minutes to determine if the desired outcome of the prescription has been achieved? So remember, pagkabigay mo ng pyrosemide, Ano yung expect mo? Remember that furosemide, this is, this is an example of diuretic. So, check mo ang urine output. Okay. Pag dumami na urine output, so ibig sabihin, nag, ano na siya? Nag take into action na siya. Yeah. 89. On the cardiac monitor, ECG changes were observed such as flattened T waves and depressed ST segments. Which of the following actions will be considered as a probable condition responsible for ECG changes? Okay, flatten T waves and depressed ST segments. So remember, kapag ang patient mo may PVC, premature ventricular contraction. So from the word premature ventricular contraction, so wala pang atrial contraction nag-contract na ang ventricle. Okay? So, from the word premature. Atrial fibrillation kasi, ano siya, uh, undetermined or indiscernible P waves. So, wala ka makita P wave dito or kung tawagin nila dito, no P waves eh. Wala makita P waves. Tapos, merong, fib- merong uh, fibrillatory uh, May mga fibrillatory waves na maliliit. Okay? Pag hyperkalimia, tall T waves, di ba? 
tall T waves, saka widened uh, QRS. Pag myocardial ischemia, yan, may ano to, T wave inversion, flat T wave, saka depressed ST segments. O doon tama sa gusto natin. So, sa, car, sa cardio, mapapag-aralan din yan. Isa sa emergency nursing. 90, the, nurse, the nursing orders includes closely, monitor closely for signs of pulmonary edema. Which of the following characteristics of this niya and cup should you consider it as a manifestation of pulmonary edema? So what is your answer? Unrelieved by exertional dyspnea and hem with hemoptysis, severe dyspnea with persistent non-productive cough, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea with productive cough of throaty pink sputum, or dyspnea at rest with productive cough of non-purulent sputum. Anong kaya dito? So, answer is... Letter one. Answer is letter C. PND or paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea is conceived is a uh, is a sign of is a manifestation of pulmonary congestion or pulmonary edema. Tapos yung uh, pink frothy sputum is uh, manifestations din po ng pulmonary edema yan. Okay? 91. May Kevin, 22 years old, swerve his car and hit a tree. And hit a tree head on when he avoided a dog crossing the street. Kevin lost consciousness, sustained several cuts on his forehead, and was bleeding from his nose and mouth. He was diagnosed in the he was diagnosed in the emergency department with, with uh, traumatic brain injury. Since volume resuscitation was necessary for Kevin, intravenous 0.9 normal saline solution was started. The nurse who admitted the patient understand that this intravenous solution was considered by the physician because it what. So, bakit daw uh, NSS yung binigay? Remember, uh, dun, sa, dun sa mechanism ng NSS, di ba remember, ang NSS is isotonic. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin yan, for example, this is the blood vessel and this is the cell. Okay? Halimbawa, ito yung NSS natin, yung plain NSS natin, which is your isotonic. So, kapag yung plain NSS nasa blood na siya, okay, pupunta yan sa cell. Then, lalabas din sa cell. Okay? So, ganyan, ang, ganyan lang ang isotonic. So, hindi siya mag-aggravate ng cerebral edema. Okay? Hindi siya mag-aggravate ng cerebral edema. So, answer is letter dog. Yung ano kasi, uh, will reduce intracranial pressure. So, po pwede nga na yan. Anibawa, ang binigay mo is osmotic diuretics like manitol. Diba? We, yung, will promote fluid shift to vascular space. Uh, ano to? This is hypertonic solution. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Next, number 92. So, the to determine to determine level of consciousness, the Glasgow Coma Scale is used. Okay, 
which of the following is a correct interpretation of the nurse of the GCS score of Kevin? So the higher the score, the higher is probability of permanent damage. The lower the score, the lower is probability of delayed recovery. The higher the score, the greater is impairment of the brain. Or the lower the score, the more serious is the brain injury. Diba? Sabi natin, perfect score of GCS is 15. Okay? Lowest is 3. Comatose starting 7. So, pag 15 ang GCS, so okay to. Pag 3, it is considered what? Sabi, brain. Ano na daw yan? Brain death. Ang 7 is coma. So, ano kaya tamang sagot? So, the correct answer here is letter what? Letter dog. So, kapag mas mababa, mas serious ang brain injury. Okay. 93, the nurse maintains body temperature of Kevin within normal limits. This, is, this intervention is significant in preventing which of the following? The answer is letter A. Kasi kapag daw, sabi, sabi, sabi ni Brunner, Yan, meron doon portion kay Brunner, para na, na doon siya nakalagay sa box na maliit. Yan. Kapag daw ano, uh, mataas ang body temperature ng patient, ang mangyayari kasi dyan is what? Tumataas ang metabolic demands. Okay? Sulat natin. So kapag increase ang temp, dito sa may mga brain injury to, ah, okay, the result is increase metabolic demands. Okay. So pag tumais at uh, tumaas ang metabolic demands ng brain, ng brain to, metabolic demands ng brain. Yan, pag tumaas ang metabolic demands ng brain, ano mangyayari? So tataas ang ano, ang demand for oxygen. Eh, tataas lalo ang demand for oxygen. So, ganun na mangyari. Eh, since um, may brain injury nga, so pwede itong lalong mag-lead to deterioration, leading to cerebral ischemia. So, letter A is the correct answer. 94. When intracranial pressure increases, which of the following nursing diagnosis is appropriate? Yan. Pag tumas to yung intracranial pressure, so, ano daw yung appropriate? So, kung titignan mo yung vital signs ng, IC, ng increased ICP, di ba? Ang vital signs ng increased ICP are what? Increased blood pressure, di ba? Di ba? Increased BP, what else? Decrease heart rate, decrease RR, tapos increase temp, increase ang temperature. So dyan pa lang may kita mo na. Mabagal ang pagingan ng patient dyan eh. Yan, buwaba pa RR dyan eh. So answer is what? Ito. Risk for ineffective breathing pattern. Yan. Yan. Appropriate daw eh. Pero kapag yung tinanong is what is your what is the priority nursing diagnosis? So pag hinahanap na is priority airway tayo. Okay. Pero dito naman kasi tumaas tayo yung, yung ICP okay. o ano daw yung appropriate so risk for ineffective breathing pattern. Ninety-five. Which of the following interventions can the nurse include in the plan of care for Kevin to control intracranial pressure? Select all that apply. Maintain his head and neck in neutral alignment. Tama kaya to? Tama to. 
Kailangan, di ba, nasa naka neutral alignment lang yan. To prevent increased ICP. Initiate measures to enhance balsalva maneuver. Pwede ba magbalsalva maneuver? Nakakapag-prevent ba to ng increased ICP? Hindi. Okay? It will aggravate the increase in ICP. Administer O2 to maintain PAO2 of uh, more than 90 millimeter mercury. So this is correct. Okay, kailangan ma-maintain talaga yan. At least 80 to 100 na PAO2 dapat ma-maintain. Okay? Elevate the head of the bed as prescribed. So tama naman to. Semi-fowlers, di ba? Tama to. So sagot is all except 2. 96. The nurse assigned in the neurology unit is taking care of a patient with medic medical diagnosis of increase in intracranial pressure. An intracranial pressure monitor is is in place, and the patient is becoming lethargic. The nurse noted the increase in intracranial pressure is high. Patient the following should be the immediate action of the nurse. Ano kaya tama sa gitna ng kita? Turn the patient on his left side with back with the back supported with pillows, di ba? Pag ang patient may increase in intracranial pressure, dapat ang head is what? Naka semi-fowler's position, dapat ang head elevated over bed, 30 degrees head elevated over bed or your semi-fowler's position. And the patient's head and neck should be in neutral position. So, wala na to. Yan. Ito, 15 degrees. Wala na rin yan. Ito, 90. Hindi na mo pwede 90. Ito. Correct answer is letter C. Okay? 97. The nurse is monitoring intracranial pressure of the patient. Which of the following nursing assessment would identify the earliest indication of increased intracranial pressure. So what is the earliest indication of increased ICP? Diba? The earliest sign of ICP is decreased LOC or altered LOC or pwedeng restlessness kung wala yung word na decreased LOC or altered LOC. Pwedeng restlessness, pwedeng irritability, yan, pwedeng confusion. Yan. Eh pag wala yung word na change in consciousness, decreasing LOC, altered LOC. Eh pag wala yung mga word na ganoon, meron doon restlessness, irritability, confusion. So yun din yun. So early sign of ICP yun, or of increased ICP. Ganun din naman sa siya. Pag tinanong what is the earliest indicator of siya? So, changes in LOC, altered LOC. So, pag wala yung mga word na yun, ganun din, restlessness, irritability, confusion. Okay? Widening of the pulse pressure, ano to? This is late. Okay? 98. The nurse completed a nursing assessment which of the following data includes that the patient is showing signs of increased intracranial pressure. Yeah, decrease in uh, decrease in pulse pressure, increase heart rate, and irregular breathing, dilation of pupil, decrease blood pressure, and increase in level of consciousness, increase in heart rate and and respiratory rate and decrease of level of consciousness or slowing heart rate, increase in pulse pressure, and irregular breathing pattern. Diba? Sabi natin, sa increase ICP, mataas ang BP, mababa ang cardiac rate, mababa ang RR, mataas ang temperature, mataas ang pulse pressure. Yan. Yan. Mataas ang pulse pressure. Tapos, decrease LOC. Yan. So, 
So ano kaya tama sagot natin dito? Ito, decrease in pulse pressure so wala na itong malinaw. Dilation of pupil po pwedeng unequal or depende sa ano ba ang nag-lead bakit nagkaroon ng increase in intracranial pressure. So depende kung ano yung mga tinamaan na part ng brain. Decreased blood pressure, wala na itong malinaw to. Yan. Increase in heart rate, wala na malinaw to. So answer is letter do. Okay? Answer is letter do. Okay, 99, in preparing the plan of care, the nurse should prioritize which of the following nursing and medical measures. High back rest to prevent valsalva maneuver and promote venous drainage. Uh, turning every two hours with lag rolling movement to maintain proper position. Elevate the head of the bed and keeping the head in proper alignment. Proper positioning and frequent change in position. So, ano kaya tama sagot natin dito? So, remember, may increase in the cranial pressure ang patient natin dito. High back rest to prevent valsalva maneuver and promote uh, venous trench. Actually, ang nagpamali is high back rest. It should be dapat semi-fathers lang. Turning every two hours... With log rolling movement to maintain proper position. Uh, pwede ito pero kailangan meron siyang uh, kulang siya. Dapat may dagdag na pag log rolling dapat yung patient is instructed to, ano siya, to exhale. Yan. Para hindi siya magbalsalva maneuver. Huwag iire kapag nagta-turn yung mga ganyan. Elevate the head of the bed and keeping the... Ito, tama to. Yan. Proper positioning and frequent change in position may lead to... Ito, pwede ito mag-lead to increase ICP. Eh, yung, freak, prop, yung frequent change in position, yun yung mag-lead to increase ICP. So, letter C is the correct answer. Okay. 100. The nurse plan of care includes preventing environmental stimuli that may stimulate increase in intracranial pressure. Which of the following measures should the nurse include in the nursing care plan? So what is your answer here? Keep lights on low setting. So tama to. Pag bright lights kasi, ano yan? Uh, matasa, environment, matasa environmental stimulus yan. So, hindi ko pwede. Keeping noise at minimum, so tama din to. Yan. Preventing environmental stimuli. Providing a calm and restful environment is also correct. Having a cold blanket available. Uh, ang cold blanket kasi is kailangan siya if ever nag ano nag nag fever yung patient because of increase in intracranial pressure pero uh, hindi siya for ano preventing environmental stimuli so hindi natin siya pwedeng isa so answer here is letter C 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 and 3 lang Okay. Let's go to the next. Tayo sa next part.
sa ano tayo, uh, MS2. Punta sa MS2. Or gusto nyo mag-ano muna? Mag-break kahit 10 minutes. Kasi mag-break kahit 10 minutes, bladder break. Bladder break? Or continue? Oh, sige, break muna. Uh, 10 minutes. So, 6.40. Uh, balik tayo na 6.50. Ayan. 10 minutes, bladder break. Okay, sige.
Okay, so um, pwede na po natin i-continue. Nandiyan na po, nandiyan na po yung iba. Okay, sige. <clears throat> so let's continue our rationalization. So doon tayo sa MS2. Okay, so doon <laughs> tayo sa um, care appliance with integumentary disorders. All right, so in a, number one, in an industrial accident, a client weighs 155 pounds, so 70 kilograms, sustained burn over 40% of his body. He is in the burn unit receiving fluid resuscitation, which observation shows that the fluid resuscitation is benefiting the client. So ano kaya tamang sagot dito? Weight gain of 4 pounds or 2 kilograms in 24 hours. Body temperature reading all within normal limits. And ECG showing no arrhythmias or urine output consistently above 1,000 ml per hour. So remember, if the patient sustained 40% or at least 25% or more na burn, okay, which is uh, about full thickness, especially about the full thickness burn yung nangyari sa kanya. So kapag ganito ang nasustain ng patient, remember that, remember that, this is, a, this is considered as ano to ah, a major burn. Okay? So itong 40% total body surface area na nadamage ng burn, so this is considered as ano ah, major burns yan. Okay? So kapag major burns, so ano to, delikado to. Okay? And most of the time, sa mga patient po na experience ng, ng, ng major burns, okay, is prone to what? Burn shock. Okay? Or tutawagin natin, uh, uh, specific term lang naman yan na ginagamit for a uh, patient with uh, burn na nagkakaroon ng shock. But, but it is also the same as hypovolemic shock. Okay, so prone po sila doon. So to, to prevent that or to reverse that, so fluid resuscitation is necessary. Okay, so that's why nagko-compute tayo dyan, di ba? So if you remember the computation, di ba? Uh, percent total body surface area, di ba? Times weight in kilogram, di ba? I'm sorry. Times weight in kilogram times 4, di ba? So, yun yung Parkland-Baxter formula natin, if you will remember. So, kaya tayo nagko-compete yan. So, para malaman natin, ilan yung ibibigay natin na fluids for the first 8 hours, okay? Second 8 hours and third 8 hours, di ba? So, sa so first 8 hours, uh, 50%. Okay, so second eight, eight hours is 25% and third eight hours is 25%. So for a total of 100% for the first 24 hours. Okay, so yan yung uh, sa Parkland-Baxter formula natin. So ngayon, ang mga patient po na, na may major burns at nakaka-experience ng burn shock, or syempre talagang decrease ang fluid volume nila. So yung patient dito is what? Mababa ang ano nila, decrease ang urine output nila. Oligurik ang patient dito kasi mababa ang ano, mababa ang cardiac output, mababa ang fluid volume. So kapag ang patient is tuloy-tuloy uh, ang bigay ng fluid resuscitation and nagre-respond siya okay, sa fluid resuscitation, so expect natin ng urine output is tataas. That's why the correct answer here is letter 2. And remember, maraming fluid volume, maraming, uh, maraming fluids ang ibibigay sa patient dyan. Kaya kinocompete natin for the first 8 hours, okay, second 8 hours, third, eh, kinocompete natin kung ilan yung ibibigay sa kanila. Okay. Next, number two, Nurse Ringo is caring for a client with solar burn of the 
chest, back, face, and arms. When formulating the care plan, the plan of care, nursing goes primary concern should be what? Look. Solar burn of the chest, back, face, and arm. So, ma ma ano to? Malaki-laki to. Yan. So, ano kaya yung primary concern? Ano kaya yung primary concern? So, what is your answer? Is it pain management, body image, infection, or fluid resuscitation? So what is your answer here? So primary concern. So ano yan? Kasi chest. Kung, uh, so may natin kasi chest lang. Eh. So malamang whole chest yan. Back, face, and arm. So malaki-laki ang ano yan, ang burn yan. So syempre kung ipaprioritize kasi ang tinatanong din is primary concern. So, kaya pa prioritize mo, ang isasagot natin diyan, ang mauna talaga diyan is ano, fluid resuscitation bago ang pain. Okay? <clears throat> Next, number three. In the community, you are asked to conduct a health teaching regarding skin infections. One of your topic is empetigo. In making teaching materials, which of the following information in relation to empetigo should be included? Should be included. So, impetigo is ano to, ah, uh, skin infection to. And pwede tong um, makahawa. Na, 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 mahawa ka lang nito kapag meron kang pa-close contact. So, therefore, answer is letter C. Number four. So, a client is admitted to the unit with diagnosis of severe hyponatremia. You realize that this client will most likely need which of the following precautions to be implemented. So, at kahapon, uh, na-discuss natin. Kapag mababa ang sodium, okay, di ba remember, the normal sodium level is 135 to 145, di ba? In MQ per liter, okay? Sabi natin, below 135, is hyponatremia. And above 145 is hypernatremia. Sabi ko sa inyo, uh, kapag nag below 120 MEQ per liter ang sodium, so severe hyponatremia yon, So hindi na okay yon. So kapag ganun, dapat nakamonitor na tayo. Yeah, seizure. Nakamonitor na tayo dyan for seizure. Kasi ano tayo pwede mag-seizure, lalo kapag ang, ang sodium niya is bumaba na ng 115 MEQ per liter. So, dinikado na po yun. So, kaya sagot natin dito is letter A. Seizure. Yeah. Seizure precautions tayo dyan. Okay? Kailangan niya kapag uh, nag-hyponatremia ng patient, kailangan ma-replace agad natin. Ma-replace agad yung sodium. Okay? Kailangan ma-replace agad yan. Pag konti lang naman, so pwedeng taasan lang yung salt intake If hindi kaya, bibigyan siya ng uh, ng sodium chloride na tablets. Yeah. Pero may ano lang 'yon, may days lang kung ilang days nang bibigyan siya, pwedeng 2 days or 3 days lang, depende sa order ng doktor. Hindi naman baga pagigim maintenance niya. Hanggang ano lang mag-normalize lang yung sodium niya. Okay? Iba naman ang ginagawa, by means of uh, IV fluids, yung NSS. Yan, pwedeng ganun. Kasi minsan, nanibawa yung patient, ang IV fluid niya is ano lang, uh, D5 water. At nanibawa, puro, puro D5 water siya. So, pag ganyan, uh, may mga patient na nag-hyponatremia. So, maglalagay ng NSS. Mag-include ng NSS. Okay? Number five, the nurse is reading the physician order of a client with hyperkalemia and notes that glucose insulin infusions and sodium bicarbonate is prescribed. The nurse understands that administration of this medication could 
Pag hapon na discuss natin to, pag may hyperkalemia patient, bawa, hapon yung may mga patient na may renal failure, mataas ang potassium level. Nag-order ng doctor ng GI solution, which is your dextrose 50% and insu- regular insulin. 10 units of regular insulin. Okay? So, bakit siya binibigay? So, to what? Para yung potassium, madala niya or masama niya papunta sa cell. Ma-shift niya papunta sa cell. Okay? So, para ma-shift niya papunta sa cell. So, yun yung ginagawa niya. Ang sodium bicarbonate naman, ginagamit naman to to prevent acidosis. So, here, answer is letter A. Number five, answer is letter A. Next. Okay. Number six. During shock phase of birth, what electrolyte imbalance would you expect? So remember, uh, Phase. Actually, may iba-ibang term kasi yan eh sa mga phases of burns. So, meron tayong emergent phase. So, meron tayong emergent phase. Other term for uh, emergent phase is your shock phase or your fluid accumulation phase. Yan. Emergent phase, shock phase, or fluid accumulation phase. So, yun yung other term nila. Ito yung unang phase. Yan. Ito yung pinakadelikadong phase ng burn. Okay, the, uh, the, the, the most dangerous phase of burn. Ito, yung emergent phase, shock phase, fluid accumulation. Yan. So, ito yung delikado. So, this is the first phase. Okay, the first, uh, first 24 hours post-burn injury. Okay? Or after the, inj- after the burn injury. Yeah. First 24 hours. Second, okay, uh, 24 to 48 hours. Ito naman si, uh, si diuresis space. Si fluid remobilization phase. Tapos, uh, 48 to 72 hours, this is your uh, recovery. Yeah. Now, so during emergent phase or shock phase, ano yung mga electrolyte imbalances natin? Okay, what are the electrolyte imbalan- imbalances during the Emergent phase during the shock or fluid accumulation phase. So, hyperkalemia and hyponatremia. Okay. So, during the emergent phase or shock phase or fluid accumulation phase, the electrolyte imbalances are hyperkalemia and hyponatremia. So, during the diuresis phase, okay, during the diuresis phase naman, Dalawang hypo na. Hypo K, saka hypo na. Okay. Patagdag natin. During emergent phase, mataas po ang hematocrit count. So dito, mostly hemoconcentrated. Hemoconcentration. Okay, diuresis phase, hemo dilution. Yeah. Right? So, during shock phase of burn, what electrolyte imbalance would you expect? So, sodium level of 136, so that is normal. Potassium of 5, uh, 5.8, so mataas yan. Sodium level of 130 mole, okay, millimole per liter. Okay, so hi, this is considered hyponatremia, tapos to hyperkalemia. Potassium of 3, this is hypokalemia. 
hematocrit of 34%. So this is considered hemodilution. Hematocrit of 55%. So this is considered hemoconcentration. Yeah. So what is your answer? The answer is letter boy. Yeah. 2, 3, and 6. Okay. Sir, paano ba malalaman yung normal level ng hematocrit? O ganito po yan. Di ba kahapon? Uh, yung hemoglobin. Level ng male and female. Okay. Pag male, sabi natin 14 to 16 grams per dl. Pag female, 12 to 14 grams per dl. So, gawin mo times 3. Okay. So, 14 times 3. So, 42. Tama ba? So, 42 to 48. Tapos, ito, 36 to 42. Percent yan, ha? Percent. Or 0.48 yan. Okay. So, 55 is, ano, uh, mataas yan. Hemoconcentrated yan. Hemoconcentration yan. Okay? Next. So, number seven. Which manifestation would the nurse expect to assess in a client with hypernatremia? So, kapag may hypernatremia ang patient, so, ano ang ma-assess natin sa kanya? So, ang patient is ano, uhaw. At parang lumalaki ang kanyang D. Mas fitness and paresthesia kasi mostly it occurs sa, ano eh, sa hypokalimia. Muscle twitching and tetany, pwede sa hypomagnesimia saka sa hypokalisimia. Fruity breath and cosmol breathing, ano to, uh, diabetic ketoacidosis yan. Okay, ito DKA. Ito po pwedeng hypomag or hypopalsimia. Yan, ito hypokalimia. Okay, number eight. So, care of life with oncologic disorder. So, benign and malignant cells differ in many cellular growth characteristics, including method and rate of growth, ability to metastasize or spread, general effects, destruction of tissue, and ability to cause death. The following is not characteristics of malignant neoplasm, except... The following is not characteristics of malignant neoplasm. Except well differentiated cell that resemble normal cells of tissue from which tumor is originated does not spread by metastasis. Uh, cell membrane usually contains Cell membrane contains protein called to more specific antigen. Rate of growth is usually languid. Ano may sagot natin dito? So, ano daw ah? The following is not characteristics of malignant neoplasm. Except, that na is what? So, ang nangyari kasi dito is, the following is not characteristic. Not a characteristic of malignant neoplasm. So, 
So this is negative. Except is negative. So hinahanap na is positive. So i-clarify natin tong sagot dito. <laughs> Kasi sagot dito is spread by metastate. Eh kaso ang hinahanap na is ano. Ah, uh, ang hinahanap na is ano na characteristics niya kasi negative times negative is positive niya. So, balikan natin to number 8. Skip muna natin to number 8. Number 9. The nurse Moni, nurse Monica is certified on college nurses conducting teaching session on ways to prevent cancer to a group of individuals with varying ages at a local health fair. Which of the following should the nurse include in the teaching? Prevent cancer. Ways to prevent cancer to a group of individuals. Which of the following should the nurse include in the teaching? Importance of a low-fat, high-fiber diet and increased fluid. So this is, it should be included. Importance of women having mammograms every year after age of 60. Actually, masyado nang matagal yan. Okay? Dapat at age 40, dapat may yearly mammogram na yan. Kung sila naman ay may history of cancer sa family, dapat at age 30. Yan. So, ano to? Dapat 40 pa lang. At age 40 pa lang to dapat. May yearly mammogram na yan. Importance of wearing of at least SPF 15 or below. Okay, SPF 15 daw and below. So, mali, dapat SPF 15 or more. Okay, kasi ano ba ibig sabihin ng SPF? Sunscreen sun protection sunscreen protection factor if i'm not mistaken <laughs> yan sunscreen protection factor so the more na mas mataas ang spf the more na mas nakakapagprotect siya sa 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 sun rays okay hindi yung spf below 15 so hindi na siya importance of sigmoidoscopy at age 50 and every 5 years So, okay ito. Importance of breast self exam monthly sa mga kababaihan. Diba? Every month dapat nag-BBSE. At least uh, seven days after men menstruation, diba? After a Next. Pwede na natin. Okay. Kaya pag bibili kayo ng sunblock, magsuswimming kayo, bibili kayo ng sunblock, at ang SPF lang yan is 10. So, mababa yan. Dapat at least mas mataas na SPF ang gagamitin niyo pag magbibitch kayo. Yan. So, number 52. Uh, number 10. A 52-year-old female tells the nurse that She has found a painless lump in her right breast during her monthly self-examination. Which assessment findings would strongly suggest that the client's lump is cancerous? Diba sabi natin, if ang lump is cancerous, ano yung mga characteristics? Painless. Diba? Painless. Okay. Fix. Irregular shape. What else? Painless, non-mobile, non non irregular shape. Yan, yan ang mga, ano yan? <coughs> Characteristics. Ito, look. A version of the right people and... Um, mobile mass. So, yung mo word na mobile. So, ibig sabihin gumagalaw. Hindi, ano siya, uh, hindi fix. 
So, mali na siya. Ito, from the word mobile na naman. So, mali na naman. Non-palpable. So, Nakakapa naman yan. Ito, non-mobile must be the regular A. So, letter B is the correct answer. Okay. 11. An oncology nurse educator is speaking to a woman group about breast cancer. Questions and comments from the audience reveals misunderstanding of some aspects of the disease. Various members of the audience have made all of the following statements. Which one is accurate? Mammogram is the most reliable method of detecting breast cancer. Breast cancer is the leading killer of women of childbearing. Breast cancer requires mastectomy. Men can develop breast cancer. Okay. Which one is accurate ang hinahanap? Mammography is the most reliable method for detecting breast cancer. Okay. Ito ba ang most reliable? So, hindi. Breast cancer is the leading killer of women of childbearing age. Actually, matagal na to eh. Lung cancer na ang leading eh. Both men and women eh. Breast cancer requires mastectomy. Uh, yes, pero hindi lang mastectomy. Kailangan, uh, hindi lang, in, hindi, yung iba, ano lang, uh, hindi naman mastectomy. Yung iba, la, ano lang, lampectomy lang. Depende eh. Yan. Kailangan din mag-chemo. Kailangan din mag -regation. Depende. Yan. Men can develop breast cancer. Kung pwede. Kung pwede magkaroon ng breast cancer lalaki. 12. The nurse is instructing a pre-menopausal woman about breast self-examination. The nurse should tell the client to do her breast self-examination. Yan lang. Diba? Seven days after menstruation. So, ano yung pinakamalapit dito? Kasi ito, at, at the same day of each month, so hindi. Kasi minsan, hindi siya, ay, mali, hindi siya ano eh. On the first day of the menstrual cycle, hindi. Immediately after, hindi pwede. Ito lang pinakamalapit. Yan. <clears throat> 13. A client age 42 visits the gynecologist after examining her after examining her the physician suspect cervical cancer. The nurse reviews the client history for risk factors for this disease. Which of the following which history findings is a risk factor for cervical cancer? Onset of sporadic sexual activity at age 17. So actually, hindi siya yung uh, risk factor ang, ang early sex. Pero merong kasing nagkakos talaga. Yan. Spontaneous abortion, hindi. Pregnancy, complicated, hindi. HPV, yes. Okay, next, number 14. Nurse Chomp is providing teaching session to a group of nursing students regarding the risk and causes of bladder cancer. Okay. Risk and causes of bladder cancer. Which statement by a nursing student indicates need for further teaching? So, yung hinalap dito is negative statement okay, regarding the risk and causes of uh, bladder cancer. Bladder cancer most 
of and occurs in women. Cigarettes, cigarettes, and, cigarettes and coffee drinking can increase the risk. Bladder cancer generally is seen in clients older than 40. Environmental hazards have been attributed to cause. Okay. Cigarettes, okay sana. Kaso drinking of coffee ang nagpamali. Yeah. Bladder cancer generally seen in older than 40. Actually, kahit naman hindi 40, kung pwede magkaroon. Kahit mas mababa pa sa 40, kahit nasa 30s po pwede. Environmental health hazards have been attributed. Actually, hindi. Kaya ang tamang sagot ito. Most often occurs in women. 15. A six-year-old rubber factory worker is admitted to the medical ward for treatment and observation of bladder cancer. The client is known smoker with 50 pack every 50 pack year history the nurse caring for the client recalls his nature in oncology and understand that the most common manifest that most client exhibit is so pag may mga bladder cancer ang most common manifestation is your painless hematuria okay <clears throat> A male client was brought to the hospital with a suspected diagnosis of Hodgkin's disease. Which assessment findings would the nurse expect to know? So, pag Hodgkin's, lumalaki ang kulane, lymph node. Seventeen. A client with Meniere's disease had undergone labyrinthectomy on the right ear. Which of the following statements by the client indicates understanding of discharge teaching concerning the surgery? I should lubricate the skin around my stoma with petroleum jelly. Okay, so okay. I should remove the inner inner ear packing in exactly three days. So the rin. I will uh, I should be able to hear fairly well after the edema in my ear subsides. Or I will be totally deaf in my right ear, but dizziness will be gone. So nanggal na ka ng uh, labyrinth. Labyrinthectomy. Nag-labyrinthectomy sa right ear. So, pag tinanggal ng kanyan, yan. So, most likely, uh, wala na yung pandinig mo sa ear na yun. Pero yung dizziness will be gone. Yung paghilo mo, wawala. So, 18. The nurse is con is to conduct a health session on a client with diagnosis of closed angle glaucoma. In formulating teaching plan, the following statements would be important to include. Exit. A. Lifelong therapy is almost always necessary because glaucoma cannot be cured. Okay? And ang pa, the following statements would be important thing to do. Ang hinahanap ngayon is exit. Okay? Lifelong therapy is almost always necessary because glaucoma can, uh, cannot be cured. So this is correct. As the symptoms subsides, you may discontinue the medication gradually. Actually, hindi mo basta-basta ito po pwedeng gawin. Yeah. You may consider to undergo laser iridotomy. Pwede. Yan. None of the above, hindi naman. So, ang um, exit po natin is letter B. Okay. 19. A cataract is a lens of past of cloudiness. It runs behind only arthritis and heart disease as a leading cause of disability in older adults. All of the following are correct statements regarding cataract. 
excluding. So, ang hinahanap is yung except. Serious smoking, long-term is, long is of corticosteroids, diabetes, and eye injuries can increase the risk of cataract. So, this is correct. Okay? Smoking, steroids, link yan for uh, long-term use of those can lead to cataract. May link to cataract. May lead to cataract, rather. Painless, blurry vision is a characteristic. Yes. No surgical treatment cures cataract or prevent or prevents age-related cataracts. So this is correct all. None of this. So ito yung excluding. 20. Which assessment data would cause the nurse to expect external otitis media? So actually, this is your uh, otitis external. Yan, eh. Yung external otitis media. So plug feeling in the ear, and reverberation of the client's own voice, sensory hearing loss, actually, ano lang to, uh, conductive lang yan. Bright red bulging and retracted tympanic membrane, ano to, uh, otitis media to. Inflammation the here and cross formation on the auditory canal. So this is correct. Yeah. 21. A nurse is assessing a client who has long-standing hypertension. She knows that the condition is progressing to a complication when which of the following is noted. So long-standing hypertension. Fatigability, recurrent episodes of severe head. It traces a protein in the urinalysis. This niya during activity. Okay, long-standing hypertension can lead to what? Can lead to renal problem. So, kung pwede mag-lead yan to chronic renal failure. So, related to kidney. So, answer here is letter C. Yeah. Twenty-two. A client with angina complains that the anginal pain is prolonged and severe and occurs at the same day, at the same time each day, most often at rest in absence of precipitating factors. How would you, how would the nurse describe this type of angina? So even at rest, okay, an absence of precipitating fa precipitating factors. Nagkakaroon siya ng anginal pain. So this is considered what? Kasi pag stable, nag-occur yung anginal pain during that, uh, during an activity or that precipitating factors. Ang variant angina naman, pag nag, ano siya, na coronary artery vasospasm. So answer is letter C. This is unstable. <clears throat> 23. A client with severe chest pain was admitted to the emergency department for possible myocardial infarction. The physician ordered to start oxygen therapy at 2 liters per minute via nasal cannula. After a few moments, the physician entered his subsequent orders to the client's chart and the nurse noted administer morphine sulfate intravenously. What is the primary reason for this nursing order? So what is the primary reason though? Bakit nag order na morphine sulfate? The possible myocardial infarction to sedate the client, to decrease oxygen demand on the client's heart, to, to decrease the client's chest pain, or to minimize the client's anxiety. Primary reason. Bakit, nag, mag, bakit magbibigay ng morphine? Remember, uh, morphine sulfate has different uses in MI. Okay? So it can, uh, it relieves pain. Okay? Reduces anxiety. Yeah. 
decreases the preload. Okay, relaxes the bronchioles. Yeah. And decrease resistance. Okay. Uh, relieves pain, reduces anxiety, uh, decrease preload to decrease the myocardial oxygen demand. Okay? Relaxes the bronchioles for a uh, Decrease resistance to decrease the blood pressure. Okay? But the primary reason for, or, for ordering the morphine sulfate is to relieve the pain of the patient. The pain that is experiencing by the patient. Okay, so yan po ang uh, uses of uh, morphine sulfate during MI. Remember that morphine sulfate can also be given in patients who is experiencing pulmonary edema. Yung iba nag-order din ng morphine sulfate sa kapuna. Yeah. Okay. Number 24. Okay, number 24. Turay na natin. Reynolds phenomenon is a form of intermittent arteriolar vasoconstriction that results in coldness, pain, pallor of the fingertips and toes. If we're assigned to care for this client, you should keep in mind which of the following measures to prevent okay, prevent vasoconstriction for patients with Reynolds phenomenon or Reynolds disease. Kaso mayroong siyang exempt. Advise a client to avoid situation that may be stressful or unsafe. So this is Okay. Yeah. Encourage the client to stop tobacco smoking. So this is good. Advice to wear layers of clothes, especially when going outdoor. Yes, especially kapag uh, malamig yung weather. Okay. Coca-Cola is permitted, however, in a little amount. So may caffeine kasi to. So pwedeng mag, mag cost ng vasoconstriction. So hindi po pwede. So that's it. In caring for a client with thromboangitis obliterans, which of the following should be included on the plan of care? Exit. Okay, so thromboangitis obliterans, so this is your uh, Berger's disease. Yeah. Assist the client on smoking cessation. So this will be included dapat. And avoid crossing legs and standing for a long time. So this is correct also. Avoid giving vasodilators. Uh, yes. Okay. Calcium channel blockers as ordered. So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, calcium channel blockers ay hindi, uh, hindi na ata siya masyadong binibigay din sa mga patient na mayroong Berger's disease or may mga peripheral arterial diseases. So, ito yung exempt. Calcium channel blockers also is uh, considered din as ano eh, vasodilator din eh. Ang problema kasi pag uh, nagbigay tayo ng vasodilator like this type of uh, vasodilator, so syempre ang problem kasi is ano eh, yung perfusion sa lower extremities. So nagkakaroon ng problem dun kasi bumababa ang output, ang ang, ang uh, supply ng dugo pababa. 
because of vasodilation. Ay, kaya ginagawa dito pag may mga burgers, nagbibigay ng ano, ay, kasi ang nagpokus naman ng pagbabara is ano, uh, blood clot. Okay? Or, kung di blood clot, yung tinatawag natin na arteriosclerosis. Hardening and narrowing okay, of the arteries plus clots or uh, pwedeng may mga cholesterol builds, build up din. Okay, kaya nagbibig yung yung mga doktor pag may mga ganyan, nag, nagbibigay sila ng ano, ng mga antiplatelets okay, to prevent uh, clot formation, nagbibigay ng mga rosuvastatin uh, to prevent uh, formation of uh, cholesterol sa dugo, nagbibigay sila. So, Matatakal 'yon sa ano, sa peripheral vascular diseases. 26 So, neurological disorder. Miss Moreno, 34-year-old, female client, was admitted in the medical ward with a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. The nurse caring for this client should be aware of the following manifestation of the CNS disorder, which includes all but one. Okay, all but one. So, ano ba yung mga manifestations ng multiple sclerosis? Ha? We have yours. Itch. Okay. We have your intention tremors. We have your nystagmus. Okay. So scanning speech. Intention tremors. Rapid involuntary oscillation of the eyeball. So this is your nystagmus. So none of the above. Twenty-seven. A client who suffered fall was admitted to the surgical unit. During the assessment, the nurse notes that the client's arm and arm, wrist, and fingers are flexed, with internal rotation and plantar flexion of the legs. The nurse will document this as one. So, to ah, may word na flex. Tapos, internal rotation and plantar flexion of the legs. Okay, so this is your, also known as your, ano to, abnormal flexion. So this is your decorticate posture. Kapag kasi abnormal extension, okay, so that is your decerebrate posture. Okay, so remember, mas delikado kapag decorticate, ah, mas delikado pag decerebrate. Okay. Kasi mas mababa na ang ano nun. Uh, sa numbering ng GCS, mas mababa na yung deserve. Okay? Number 2 na yun eh. Number 28. The family of a client with spinal cord injury rushes to the nursing station saying that the client needs immediate help. On entering the room, the nurse told Notes that the client is diaphoretic. Okay. Flash face and neck complaints of severe headache. Pulse rate is 40. And blood pressure is 200 over 100. Okay. So, spinal cord injury. Yeah. So, kapag ang patient nagkaroon ng spinal cord injury, especially uh, T6 and above level, tapos sa experience siya ng diaphoresis, head, uh, severe uh, pounding headache, uh, increased blood pressure, yan. tapos yung peripheries niya, mababa yung pulse. Okay? So, ano yan? Yung patient mo, nakaka-experience ng ano yan? Autonomic dysreflexia yan. So usually, one of the triggering factors of uh, autonomic dysreflexia is what? Common. Okay? Is what? Neurogenic bladder. Yan. Okay? Kaya yung mga patient na, na may ano, 
uh, spinal cord injury, tapos ang level is T6 and above, dapat yan naka, ano, naka urinary catheter yan para hindi magkaroon ng full bladder. Kasi pag nag full bladder yan, triggering factor yan ng, ano, ng autonomic dysreflexia. Aside from neurogenic bladder, uh, constipation also. Pain. Yan. Pwede rin. Um, tapos yung mga pag o dito, yung yukos, yukos yung mga bed sheet. Yan. Pwede rin mag-cos ng ano. Pwede rin triggering factor of uh, uh, autonomic dysreflexia. Kaya pag ano, halimbawa, yung patient nag-autonomic dysreflexia, isa sa titingnan natin Ano kung halimbawa naka-catheter yan, titingnan natin, baka mamaya. Full bladder yan kasi yung catheter naka-kink. O ipit yung urinary catheter. So wala makalabas yan, napuno yung bladder. Okay. Professor Clark is conducting a lecture group of nursing students about Parkinson's disease. Chuck, one of... His students asked about the cardinal manifestation of this disorder. In explaining, Professor Clark should include the following. Exempt. So, ano yung exempt daw? Yeah. Difficulty initiating movement. So, this is correct. Shuffling gait. Sama yan. Rigidity, ito yung kutawagin natin ng cogwheel, di ba? Cogwheel rigidity. Okay, tapos bradykinesia. Yan, shuffling gait. Teal rolling tremors. Resting tremors. Yan. Okay. So, dito sa letter A, actually, ang nagpamali dito is the word slow, if I'm not mistaken. Ayan. So, kaya yan yung yan na natin sa exit. May resting tremors. Alam natin, we have, uh, Parkinson's have resting tremor. Resting tremors. Okay? Mrs. Calcon and her student were assigned to the medical ward. One of the, one of the student of Mrs. Calcon, Trisha, was asked to render care for her client with stroke. Trisha recalls her lecture about some nursing considerations when rendering care to a stroke client. Which of the following would be essential to be followed by Trisha? Okay, so... Nursing consideration when rendering care to a stroke client would be essential to be followed by Trisha. Cluster all nursing... Intervention to be done in a short period of time. Uh, when sanctioning the client for secretion, the nose should be first followed by the mouth. Make sure to keep the room well lighted for the client to see. Avoid doing all nursing intervention at the same time. Okay, so ang um, iko consider natin dito is itong letter to. Avoid doing all nursing intervention at the same time. As much as possible, kumare dapat uh, unti-unti. Okay? Remember that the patient with stroke, kailangan yan may tamang rest period. Okay? And, um, for example, uh, kailangan mag-turn. So, hindi po pwedeng lahat gagawin mo at the same time. So, dapat yan unti-unti, may proper timing para gawin yung ibang nursing intervention na gagawin mo sa patient. Huwag, huwag mo pagsasabayin lahat at the same time. 
<clears throat> okay. Next, number 31. A 24-year-old female client comes to the clinic complaining of easy fatigability and sometimes dizziness. Blood for CBC was drawn and the result is consistent with iron deficiency anyway. The physician prescribed pyrosulfate tablet and instructed the client about proper way of taking the medication and expected side effect of the medication. As a nurse, we need to ensure that the client understood the physician teaching in evaluating the client knowledge regarding iron therapy, which of the following statement by the client require further teaching. Okay. I will take this medication an hour before meal. I will take ferrosulfate two hours after meal. I should expect my, that my stool will turn dark green. I need to increase my intake of citrus fruits because this contains high level of iron. Require further teaching. Okay. When is the best time to take iron supplement? The best time to take iron supplement is a base cave pruner. It should be one hour before or two hours after meal. Yeah, one hour before meal or two hours after meal. So I will take this medication an hour before meal, so this is correct. I may take ferrosulfate two hours after meal, so this is also correct. I should expect that my stool will turn dark green. So, mang mangihitim naman talaga, pero not totally black na black. May konti naman parang green green din yan. Okay? So, this is also correct. I need to increase my intake of citrus fruits because this contains high level of iron. Tama ba yun? Ang nagpamali is ito, contains high level of iron. Ang citrus fruits, uh, sinasama natin siya, it is because to, what? For better absorption of iron. Citrus fruits, uh, hindi sila high level of iron content. Okay? So, yan yung need for further teaching. Okay? Next. Thirty-two. The nurse is caring for a thirty-two-year-old client admitted with pernicious anemia. Which set of findings should the nurse expect when assessing the client? So pernicious anemia. Palor, oops, mali. Dapat it should be taki. Sortang dis niya and weight gain. Hindi no, nagdi-dis niya. Angina, double vision, so hindi rin. So answer, boy. Yeah. So sortang or your red beefy tongue. So, madidiscuss naman yan sa, ano, sa lecture, sa uh, HEMA. 33. A client was admitted due to sickle cell crisis. When caring for this client, the nurse will prioritize which of the following interventions? Sickle cell crisis. Prioritize which of the following interventions? Administer vitamin B12. Administer round of lung analgesic as ordered. Apply cold compress. Encourage range of motion activities to the affected extremities. Okay, remember, for patients with sickle cell, experiencing sickle cell crisis, the patient experience pain. Okay. So, administering round the clock analgesic as ordered is this will be prioritized. Okay. 34. 
The nurse is evaluating a client with polycythemia vera. The nurse should expect which of the following manifestations that are consistent with polycythemia vera. Okay? Remember, pag polycythemia vera, so lahat yan mataas. RBC, WBC, platelet, Eight. Yeah. Ah, so platelet. Yeah. Platelet, hematocrit, as din yan. And other uh, blood components, si basophil, si eosinophil. Yan, si si basa yan, may mga yan, mapapas lahat yan. Basophil, eosinophil. Ah. Yeah. Matata matata sila. Okay. All blood cells are increased. Okay? So lahat po yan mataas. Yan. Okay? So, uh, dahil mataas ang hematocrit, so hemoconcentrated yan, prone sa clot formation, so pwedeng tumaas ang ano yan, blood pressure. Cool, pale skin, ano to? Warm. Warm or hot, kung tawagin. Okay, this is your erythromelalgia. Yeah. Rudy complexion, this is uh, red colored skin. Parang kinulayan mo ng cryola ng color red yung balat. Yan. Generalized pruritus relieved by antihistamine. Actually, it cannot be relieved by antihistamine. So, ito yun ang pamali. So, ang sagot is all except 2 and 4. Alright. Um, okay lang ba yung yung pa ba to? 15 items. Um, I-continue na lang natin sa next session. Is it okay for you? Kung i-continue natin siya sa next session. Yung remaining. Okay lang ba? Or continue? Hello? Uh, naririnig po ako, naririnig. Continue ba natin or um, continue natin sa next session? Okay, kasi baka ano na rin eh, baka uh, pagod na rin kayo eh. Nakakapagod kasi talaga, sa so totoo lang, nakakapagod talaga ang rationalization. <laughs> kasi sa, sa pure lecture lang. Yan, sige. Uh, continue na sa next. Kasi may ano pa naman eh. Yung funda kasi mabilis na lang yun eh. Sa yung CV, mabilis na lang naman yun eh. Itong MS ang talaga maraming ano eh. Yan. So, i-continue na lang natin siya sa next session. So, meron pa naman mga next session. Mababa pa naman ang, ano, ang, ang review natin. Okay. So yeah, sige. So let's get, uh, continue na lang natin sa next session. Um, bukas yata wala, na, wala kayong ano, no? so pahinga kayo bukas. Tapos ang pasok nyo na yata, ang lecture na yata sa ano? 8, no? 8, no? March 8, March 10, saka 11. So yun. 
Ayan. So, may time pa kayo magpahinga and um, makakapagsimba pa kayo tomorrow. Okay? So, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, ingat po. Pwede lang po kayo mag-lunch. Ayan. So, para makapagpahinga na kayo. Ayan. Good night.